Let's rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Fuck this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a kid for me. Heard it on the Budden podcast. It's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive. And a nigga under five foot five. So it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. Can you gotta fuck this nigga, girl? He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. He is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You asked for the smoke. Now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie. The people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. But running numbers up, I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snow. Yes, yo. What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? I know you've never been to jail, always jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent. And no one is the homies that empower you. But still, you gotta show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowd of room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the VOG never fucking doubted you. But right now it seems like you posted up. Without a clue of what the fuck you about to do Yeah, um, uh, that's the truth I'm definitely about to come around the lane gang And let my fucking bow move Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes The first one really only took me an hour or two The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you But now we gotta wait a fucking week Cause Taylor Swift is your new top And if you about to drop, she gotta approve This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud She tailor made your schedule with Ant, you out of the loop Hate all you corporate industry puppets, I'm not in the mood I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kinda removed You tryna let this shit die down, nah, nah, nah Not this time, nigga, you following through I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you The rest of y'all are definitely involved, y'all getting it too Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose Shout out to Taylor Swift, biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini run, do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, I, I know you in that NY apartment, you struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, Shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yo. And y'all trying to tell me he not the GOAT. And y'all... Ch- One more time, man. By the way, Pac is clearly AI. Snoop is clearly AI. But Drizzy... I'm just the best! Yeah. West Coast Savior, ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Fuck this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls, that's a kid for me. Heard it on the Budden podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive. And the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos, he is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. 
Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You asked for the smoke, now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. But running up was up, I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to snow. That's you. What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? I know you never been to jail or was jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent, and no one is the homies that empower you. But still, you got to show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Because right now, it's looking like you writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the VOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seem like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bowel move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl. Hey, chat. Chat. I'm I'm under good authority. This is I'm under good authority. Drake wrote everybody's verse. Drake wrote AI Tupac, AI Snoop, and of course his own. <laughs> Come on, ain't this the GOAT? The nigga had to go get some West Coast legends in AI form to give this nigga a pep talk. God damn. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift, biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini run, do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, Dot, I know you in that NY apartment, you struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, Shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yeah. One more time. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. We need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin dot, we need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls, that's a kid for me. Heard it on the button podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive. And a nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos, he is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You asked for the smoke, now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. But running up was up, I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snoop. Nasty yo. What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? I know you've never been to jail or was jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent, and no one is the homies that empower you. But still, you got to show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Because right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? 
that you know the D.O.G. never fucking doubted you But right now it seem like you posted up without a clue Of what the fuck you about to do Yeah, um, that's the truth I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, nah. Not this time, nigga. You following through. I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. On the loose. Yeah. Shout out to Taylor Swift. Biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini run, do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, die. I know you in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, this shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yo. Hey, because it's on uh, on um uh Instagram, I can't really like fast forward. There's a couple lines I like in it. I like when, by the way, Kendrick, we need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously. You seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Fuck this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a kid for me. Heard it on the Budden podcast. It's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive. And the nigga under five foot five. So it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. He is not amused That's jail talk for real thugs You gotta be you Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised Before we really lose You ask for the smoke Now I see you too busy for the smoke I won't lie, the people confused Now you about to get this shit another week And fall back to home, girl But running numbers up, I would have refused For these industry relationships She not in your shoes You supposed to be the boogie man Go do what you do Unless this is a moment that you tell us It's not really you In that case, there's nothing left to say I just pass it to snow Fight back! Kendrick, fight back! What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the house. All that, yo, yo, I heard these. Hold on, let me pause this real quick, man. Big act in a fucking building. After my channel just got taken down. Listen, it's all good. We still in good, good spirits. Hey, run it up on uh everybody on on under on, on the academy page. Yo, everybody, run it up real quick, real quick. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Uh, I need to see uh some new members. Everybody who watching, of course, Rumble and of course on Twitch. Hey, check this out. Man, I've been watching these Kendrick fans do all type of mental gymnastics. Yo, I'm talking to the boy. He's like, yo, like, like he's saying, act. What is it going to take for this nigga to drop? They said I had to go first, even though he's sneak this and mostly this and J. Cole. Fuck it. I'll go first. Cool. Wait, this saying is AI? Okay, let me put out the, all right, here's the real version. It's changed up, mixed mastered. What? Oh, they're saying I'm not claiming it? Oh, God. We got claimed it. What? I said, fuck Kendrick Gold. All right. You know what? I'm putting up on streaming service. I'm putting it up today. Fuck it. Well, 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 we'll start to type up. Uh, well, listen, up, uh, up. Uh, this is Kendrick Fizz. Oh, uh, well, listen, you got to realize you got to give Kendrick time. Well, he's, he's working on his album. His album drops in May. His album drops in May. He's going to put it on the album. You know, going to run the sales. What? I thought we were squabbling. I didn't think this was a sales play. I thought it was squabble time. No. Uh, yo, I heard the craziest thing. This one nigga on Twitter, he said, he said, y'all could keep having that microwavable shit. Cooked 
food takes time. Man, that boy just in the room just hitting his head with a with a number two pencil trying to figure out what to write, nigga. He writes slow, and we keep saying, I keep saying, he make moments, he don't make great distance. Drake on his head again, and I'm also hearing he might catch a third one before he drop. For real, for real. Drake not about to keep this beef going for 20 years. Drake tried done homie before the summer. Summertime vibes is different. We ain't gonna keep going back and forth with the nigga who too short to get on amusement park rides. We're trying to done homie this week. Oh, no, wait till May and then after May. Nigga, we not beefing with this nigga all year. The fuck? You had a song for four years. Put the shit out. Oh. It's been like... So weak now, he ain't putting shit out. Hit that nigga again. Drake waited because he thought that on the seventh day, maybe this nigga was going to come on some spiritual shit. On the seventh day, he rose from the ashes. I don't know. The nigga just ain't writing shit. Drake had to hit this nigga again. Yo, the nigga is, yo, Drake is so bored, but so ready. He started writing for dead people. All right, let's try this AI shit out. Okay. All right, I'll write some shit for him. God damn! Let's go, man. Never been to jail, always jump suits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent, and no one is the homies that empower you. But still, you gotta show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the VOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bowel move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that Your tone changed a little You not as enthused How are you not in the booth It feel like you kind of removed You trying Ooh, My bad, my bad What's that line? You say Taylor Swift The new top Wait, hold on Wait, um, um, Help me with that It says Taylor Swift The new top What do you, you say? Taylor Swift The new top So you can't drop Cause she gotta approve Nah, that line was tough Trying to let this shit die down I ain't gonna lie I love when Drake raps like this I like this type of rapping by Drake more than even that push-up type of, like, he was, like, he just kind of blatant and trying to be disrespectful type shit. But this shit right here, barring a nigga up. No, 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 not yeah. this time, nigga, you following through. I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift, biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini run, do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, I, I know you in that NY apartment, you struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, Shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yo. One more time, chat. One more time. I ain't gonna lie. I'm fucking with this. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. We gotta get it on a, a platform where I could pause it and shit. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Hey, 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 I, 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 I think I could share this one. I think I could share this one. Hey, 
So I hit the boy. I said, oh, shit. You really not finna let this nigga breathe. You know what the boy told me? That's what he told me just now. And and I'm only reading this because we got to get blatant to send a message. You feel me? Everybody keep like, oh, no, no, no. The nigga is begging for smoke. He's begging. This, this is what Drake just told me. He said, he said, act. You know I was trying to come off tour and relax. Niggas done fucked up my whole feng shui. Is that how you spell feng shui? Okay. He said, now I got to eat until this debate is done. You know what that means? He's locked in the studio. Ten songs a day. Barring up everybody. Ross, you going to get it too, nigga. Everybody got to get it. He's making 30 songs, nigga. For all y'all niggas who love hip hop, love the sport, here's my thing. And by the way, I know somebody gonna be like, "Act you, Dick Ryan, you just no, no." You see, I used to shame y'all favorite rappers with this. I always said, "Damn, imagine having a favorite rapper who is never around, who don't really rap. He's a part time basketball player or doing some other shit. Is he really into the sport?" I like what my rapper says. I just came off a of eighty four city tour. Fuck vacation until this shit is settled. I'm not going nowhere. That's how my favorite rapper should come. Y'all talking about, oh no, nah, Kung Fu Kenny just kind of like, like, like he's, he's working. Fuck all that. Fuck that. Everybody should be in a booth. Rapping. Why are you not rapping? And I'm saying that because. I actually just, I really want Kendrick to just engage. Nigga, I want this to be at least four tracks back and forth. This is a heavyweight uh, contest. Four tracks back and forth. Let's go. Bang, 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 bang. Why Drake got to drop two? Before a nigga fire back. Where's the pride in this shit? Drop something, nigga. And by the way, when Kendrick drop, I'm going to bump that shit too. But I've been telling y'all this for the longest. The nigga y'all call the softest, the nigga y'all criticize the most, he's always been the most hip-hop. Being hip-hop ain't not being into the culture and just disappearing. Being hip-hop is being present. Let's keep running this shit, man. I need the full track though. Well, no, well, I need a track that I could like go back and forth because I want to pause it and do all that type of shit. Somebody said, somebody said, next topic. You are sadly mistaken. This is the only topic. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Yo. Mm. West Coast savior, engraving your name in some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin dot, we need to know the baby. By the way, that's another very priceless thing that Drake did. Drake wrote a diss basically to himself on some eight mile shit, except it's like he positioned it as, yo, I'm speaking from. I'm speaking from the voices of um, of Pac and Snoop, guys who have done this West Coast shit, gotten issues and handled them shits lyrically and hand them shits on record. We're going to be your big brother in this situation. So we kind of dissing Drake too because we don't want Drake to win. That's a dope... Pr By the way, Drake, I'm, I'm going to talk to you this about this like personally, but still, I'll say this publicly. I... I'm, some of y'all not going to like the AI part because I know AI has been really stressing us out. What's real, what's not. But on a creative level, I like the fact that Drake is doing some shit that you'd probably see Joyner Lucas do, right? Like this is like a Joyner Lucas-esque move where he's writing from different perspectives. And we all know Drake's perspective, but like, like again, obviously, you know, and, and I also mentioned this, you know, rest in peace to Tupac. Uh, I know some of y'all might feel a way too about be like yo yo you're writing from a dead man's perspective who probably don't, who never n known you nor Kendrick and he don't feel this way so you put the words in his mouth but I do think on a creative level on a creative level I do think this is kind of dope you know what I'm saying West Coast victory man call him a bitch for me 
Talk about him liking young girls, that's a gift for me. Heard it on the Budden podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me to spare them. By the way, that's why I said that was a slick thing by Drake. I think Drake is kind of sizing up what angles Kendrick might take. He hits it out there already. Oh, yeah. If you're going to take this th this angle, I'm going to rap about it as Pac. Oh, yeah, you should rap about it like this. I heard it on the Button Podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Machiavelli is alive and the nigga under By the way, also, here's the thing, too. You know, there was a, a slight quick conversation about who the most two important hip-hop voices in the culture, if you ever thought. You got the biggest rapper in the game sampling me on one track and basically then talking about a Joe Bun podcast on the next. Like, I, I, are we still having this conversation? I told you the Spider Man meme is me looking at Joe, right? The five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Have my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All Woo! that shit about burning tattoos, he is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You ask for the smoke. Now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. But running numbers up, I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us this not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snow. Yes, you. What the fuck you really got to do? Mm. We passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? I know you've never been to jail, or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent, and no one is the homies that empower you. But still, you got to show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move, because right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get... Ooh, right now you're writing the game plan on how to lose. Barking up the wrong tree. Ooh, we need the lyrics, we need the lyrics. Genius, you fucking me up right now. It's called Taylor Made Freestyle. I got I to gotta get it. I got to get it. Taylor Made Freestyle. Bro, why am I suspended on my, my main channel? God damn, I'm on, on the YouTube show. Okay, 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 we got some lyrics. Yes, 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 yes. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Let, 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 let. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, y'all think, y'all, some of y'all really think it's just like, oh, you're just like sucking Drake's dick. No, nigga, I love hip hop. Like, I wish Kendrick would drop four pack tonight, nigga. I would not get off stream, period. Your head popped in a crowd of room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the DOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, I seem like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. Mm. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top And if you about to drop, she gotta approve This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud She tailor made your schedule with Ant, you out of the loop Hate all you corporate industry puppets, I'm not in the mood I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kinda removed You trying to let this shit die down, nah, nah, nah Not this time, nigga, you following through I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve What the fuck? It's taking so long, we waiting on you The rest of y'all are definitely involved Y'all getting it too Soon as you get the courage to drop I'm out on the loose On the loose Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift Biggest gangster in the music game right now You know, I moved my album when she dropped I said that already, you know She about to mini run Do a milli rock on your head top bro. She got the whole PG laying on mute Okay, okay, I, uh, I could NF our podcast got it on Twitter. I'm about to tweet that myself. I'll just play it from them. Despair. Yo, Snoop's verse I like. Motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You yeah. asked for the smoke. Now I see you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. But running numbers up, I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snow. Nephew. Nephew. What the fuck you really got to do? 
passed you the torch at the house of blues And now you gotta do some dirty work You know how to move, right? Right? I know you've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody Never did nothing violent and no one It's the homies that empower you But still, you gotta Yo, this is so th 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 I'm gonna tell you, th this is so dope Cause this nigga Drake You know, it it's it's better if he's Rapping this from Snoop's perspective than his perspective Cause you might be like, well, well Drake Some of this applies to you but remember, in Kendrick's diss to Drake, he's talking about, he's like, I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. Like, he's talking like he on some gangster shit. This is the reason why I keep telling you, I think Drake, number one, Drake is like watching this. I'm like, and kind of also saying like, is he really trying to tease that or he's just rapping and just being aggressive? Because Kendrick drops certain gems in there when he says, yo, He's like, I'm with two T's. Like, two T's is like like some street nigga. Like, that's actually some street nigga who really get it in. That's a nigga who really has been to, you know what I mean? And it was like, um, and then some of the shit he's talking about, and this is how I know definitely Drake wrote that. Drake, Drake wrote uh, Drake wrote Snoop's verse. You're going to hear him say, it, it, like, that's prison talk. Like, yeah. What the fuck you really got to do? Passed you the torch at the house of blues, and now you gotta do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Yo, let me tell you this, man. My goat don't give a fuck about Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, this and Kim K and Kanye. Good for Taylor Swift. You gonna sell three million? All good. But my goat don't give a fuck about nobody. When you releasing? Oh, is anybody gonna hear it? He not doing this for the sales. He doing this for the sport. This nigga wants to be at the top of the mountain, not right there at number two, not number three, not number four, not number five. He don't want to be top 10, never interested in being top 20. That nigga only wanted to be the fucking goat. And he's trying, I'm, he's trying to let you know, I don't give a fuck if Taylor drop, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm in this beef. That's the point we got to start putting out. There, the only timeline, the nigga got off tour and he's locked in a studio saying, I'm not leaving this studio till I handle my beef with this nigga right here. That's respectable. I don't care if Taylor drop. I don't care who drop. I'm going to handle this beef right now. Right. I know you've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent and no one. It's the homies that empower you. But still, you got to show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Because right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game. But are you out of moves? That you know the VOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seems like you posted up. Without a clue of what the fuck you about to do Yeah, um, that's the truth, yeah, that's truth. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang And let my fucking bow move Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes The first one really only took me an hour or two The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you But now we gotta wait a fucking week Cause Taylor Swift is your new top And if you about to drop, she gotta approve This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud She tailor made your schedule Hold on, I'm trying to get my fire tweet off I ain't gonna lie, that's what I'm trying to get the lyrics. He said, now we gotta wait a week. Cause Taylor Swift, your new top. What? <laughs> that's just hilarious. Really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few oh, nah. in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule. You were in, you out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Oh you do. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you bout to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really bout to make you act like you not in a feud. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind to remove you trying to let this shit die down nah 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 not this time nigga you following through i guess you need another week to figure out how to improve what the fuck is taking so long we waiting on you the rest of y'all are definitely involved y'all getting it too soon as you get the courage 
chat, I'm going to be honest with you. Respectfully. I see why them niggas jump Drake. I see why. This nigga's clever. He's a shrewd operator. He adjusts to technology. He adjusts to the time. He would have never done some AI shit with Meek. We're in the era of AI. He doesn't go against it. He uses it. I'm sorry. I get why we got to, yo, we got to be the Avengers versus this nigga. Okay? Yeah, I know I'm Iron Man, but that's Thanos. Like, that nigga really fucked me up. Yo, let's get up. Yo, Hulk. Yo, Hulk. Come on. Stop playing. Let's get over here. Thor, get your lazy ass up. Let's go. Yeah. Bruh. You got to jump a nigga like this. I get it now. Ain't no way I'm going to a nigga like this who's who's number one after he gets hundreds of millions from tour. He's not even saying, oh, okay, I'm burnt out. He's like, let's squabble, and I'm going to keep writing, keep pressing you. Nah, you got to jump a nigga like this. I get it now. Metro, I understand why. Okay, but still, shut your ass up and go make some drums. Drop, I'm out on the Hold loop. Up. Definitely about to come around the land game. Looking like you writing out the game plan on how to lose, how to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the VOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, I seem like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that Your tone changed a little You not as enthused How are you not in the booth It feel like you kinda removed You tryna let this shit die down Nah, nah, nah Not this time, nigga You following through I guess you need another week To figure out how to improve What the fuck is taking so long We waiting on you The rest of y'all are definitely involved Y'all getting it too Soon as you get the courage to drop I'm out on the loose On the loose Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift Biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I move my album with... Hey, by the way, I think Drake learned that from... Learn, learn. Drake doesn't do the let me talk at the end of the track shit. Now, let me, let me, let me give you the context of that. 50's always done that. A lot of times, 50 will have a decent song, but the shit he talks at the end, that's the diss. The game, he's done that too. Uh... Let me see, 50, the game, who else, 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 who else do that a lot? Where they talk a lot at the end of the track. Regardless, I'm going to tell you why I think he started doing it. Rick Ross gave a decent to good diss to him, but you know what really penetrated, no diddy, no, no, whatever? What really did the most amount of damage or was most effective with Drake was what, what French, not French, I mean, what Ross said at the end. You know why I follow, unfollowed you, nigga? It's because you sent that cease and desist at Ross. You got a nose job because you don't like yourself. BBL Drizzy. That's the shit that was really most potent. Let's keep it a bean. So I think that's why Drake is like, you know, Drake is baiting this nigga a little bit, right? Drake adopted something. Yeah, let me know. Has Drake, like, left a minute ever on his tracks to just talk? Drake is not the talker. Drake is just a rapper. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, like, Drake is not the talker. He's usually just rapper. I've, oh, yeah, Pac, oh, yeah, Pac. You know, Pac is historic with that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Pac used to, like, you know what I mean? Fuck Mob Deep, fuck, fuck this, fuck Biggie, fuck Bad Boys, a record label, a stat. Like, yeah, we know Pac for doing that. I, I think Drake is learning in the moment. I think Drake, yo, Ross was getting, Ross was just clowning too much on, 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 on Instagram. You could get Ross later. Stop responding. Good. Perfect. Okay. This is what you do. What Ross was starting to change the narrative a little bit. BBL Drizzy. Yo, your nose job. White boy. Like those were effective narratives. Good thing Ross is not Kendrick. So you know what Drizzy did? Let me take that in my toolbox. All right, bet. I'm going to do some good rapping for three minutes. This is a four-minute song, bro. This is a four-minute song. He's rapping for three minutes and talks for the last minute. Talking shit. 
Jets and Thoos. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You try oh, yeah, Cameron be doing it too. Cameron talk before, after. Actually, if you ever listen to Cameron's, um, most of Cameron's um, ad-libs is usually him just still talking. Like, he's not even, like, repeating or doing a double over a line. He's just kind of, like, still just talking shit, bro. Feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when. By the way, it, like this is kind of interesting, and we're gonna have to break this down. This is gonna take so long. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, Drake! Thank you for blessing hip hop media, blessing us. Um, I can't believe my fucking channel got, got messed up today, but fuck it. Like you know, we still, we still go. Um, hopefully we can get it fixed tomorrow or you know soon because this is we are at the time. Okay. However, uh, sh shout out to everybody who's rocking on the King Academic. No, King Academics. I mean, um, the Academy channel. Uh, I think we, this is probably our record on there. We got 17,000 on there. A little humble. Hey, I need all y'all to subscribe to this channel as well because we also stream on the channel, okay? Not only that, um, you guys could actually become members. So I, I know YouTube will throw ads in there from time to time. If you become a member, you miss that. And actually, like, if you want the VOD without it being cut up, you guys will be able to um, have access to that. I'll, I, we're going to do it just straight membership, okay? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yo, chat, no, no, thank y'all, like, you know what I mean, this is our secondary channel, and, and I'm, I'm amazed that we got, like, even 17,000 people in here at midnight, anyway, uh, let's go, let me break down this one part, the first one really only took me, so he, he's talking about Taylor Swift, but he kind of loses some shit, we gotta do some more research, let's go, in an hour or two, the next one is really about to bring out the coward in you, but now we gotta wait a fucking week, cause Taylor Swift is your new top, Right here. And if you about to drop, she got to approve. It's That's interesting. Taylor Swift's your new top. I think he's alluding to that Kendrick wants to drop this song as something that he's probably looking towards making money from and trying to, oh, I want to release on a Friday. But what happens is when somebody like Taylor Swift drops, nobody drops near her, right? You know what I mean? It's like when Adele drops. She's going to take up all the streams, all the slots on the Billboard charts, you don't even want to drop at that time. And there is a rumor that, you know, Kendrick is saying, well, since Taylor just dropped, you know, because, you know, you know, you know Kendrick fans, like, they do mental gymnastics. Well, why would he drop his diss song right now when he got a number one song? He got a number one song. He don't want to step on it. Nigga, Taylor was going to drop. He ain't finna be number one, okay? I don't care what fucking song was on the chart. When Taylor Swift dropped, that song ain't going to be number one. But that was the mental gymnastics, uh, um, the, the little Kendrick fit. Well, he don't want to, you know, he ain't dropping because he don't want to, he don't want to step on his number one song. Okay, it's not gonna be number one. You know, you know the new excuse. Well, well, why would he drop when Taylor's dropping? Like, matter of fact, he got an album coming. He's just dropping on the album. What the fuck are y'all talking about, man? Drop. You know what I'm saying? So. I think that's what Kendrick's alluding to because no, not Kendrick. I mean, um, Drake. Because I think Drake might be in the same belief. Like, yo, yo, I'm really just trying to rap and rap battle. This thing is trying to play me and play this moment for sales for an album. And now he can't drop an album this week because it's Taylor week. Next week still gonna be Taylor week. Taylor gets two or three weeks, so you gotta clear that, right? So pretty much nothing Kendrick would drop if he's going on the. I'm dropping to get some sales angle. You won't hear nothing from him till May because Taylor owns the rest of this month. Facts. Taylor Swift owns the rest of this month. By the way, ironically, what's the name of the freestyle? Taylor made it. Girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule with Ant, you out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets, I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, 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 not this time, nigga, you following through. I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Ross, you gonna get it. As soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. On the loose. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift. Biggest gangster in the music game right now. I'm, I'm hearing y'all tell me there's a new um Chris Brown disc. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini I'm doing Millie Rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG laying on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend, like. I know you in that NY apartment, you struggling right now. I know it. 
in a notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, this shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. That's also very strategic by Drake. We all know that Kendrick's gonna come with like some control like setup type verse or structured song where he's rapping about, you know what I mean? The pendulum just like just rapping about mad random shit. And I think that's Drake also taking the edge off that by being like, yeah, nigga, get the quintuple entendre and rap about some complicated shit. Cause, you know, Drake started this by saying, nigga, fuck you, you midget ass nigga. Drop and give me 50. Like, yo, he's clowning him on some, like, pretty much a basic level. But but also showing that, yo, I could get some bars in there when I need to. But we ain't going to do this with, with, like, this complicated shit that people want to say. I think he's trying to take the luster out of that. Because I, I would imagine that's an approach he think Kendrick's going to take. Yo, y'all keep saying Chris Brown dropped a diss. Let me see Chris Brown Instagram. Holy, we popping tonight? Yo, you know what's so funny? Like, I was thinking if anything, anything was going to happen, it was going to happen last night, right? Um, But y'all saying it's happening now. So what just happened? Let me see. Some called the weakest link. Is is this Quavo? No fucking way. Let's go listen, chat. Like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Hey Chris, I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. This Quavo, right? Like, please, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Oh shit! Who wants smoke with me? Yeah. Who wants smoke with C? Yeah, yeah. Who wants yeah. yeah. hey. smoke with me? Who wants? Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripped in red. Don't let this R&B shit fool you, niggas. Get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho. That's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. Sweetie, this is messy and I love it. Red. Don't let this on be hey, memes and grand, get this shit ready for the page, okay? Ooh, you niggas get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga, you a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put Amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't want to fuck the money up. Boy, I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Quit talking about drugs. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a being with y'all. Man, I've never been more proud of hip hop. Chris Brown been around since he was 16, nigga. Yo, I never seen ya. Like that nigga keeping a hip hop. This is just to show you that all them other niggas that be doing them hieroglyphics and bullshit, they're lying. Drake been around for 15 years. He's still trying to battle niggas, bro. He's still trying to compete, bro. Chris Brown is giving it up. And I ain't gonna lie, the craziest thing, I believe every word he's saying. <laughs> Run it. Dread, can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put Amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking.
talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste, that's devastating. You doing bad, you a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You're lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy. I would have broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough, you ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Quit talk about drugs, you the only pack that I've been smoking on. I just hit my plug, told him come back, I'ma need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade, just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on, put you to bed. Night, night, that's to the fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you done said. RIP, take off, he the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping, Chris, don't say that, don't lose your head. Damn. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas, never knew revenge. Oh. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. Yeah. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger, I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table, my mental state ain't never stable. I know this shit gon' sting, nigga. I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by a singer, nigga. Bitch. Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with C? Who wanna, mm. Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna... Quavo, you on the clock. I don't care what nigga. You better find a Versace, Versace, Versace flow. I don't care what you do. You got to respond. This is hip hop, nigga. This is hip hop. You on the clock. Kendrick look like he's slow. He's smart, but he's, he's a slow, like, you know, creator. We gonna give you like about three weeks, even though I think that Quavo gonna respond. I get how much I wanna bet that Quavo respond to this before before Kendrick responds to Drake. How much I wanna bet? How much I wanna bet? How much I wanna bet? Let me run it back one more time. Now we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Hey Chris, I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants mm. want smoke with me? Who wants Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy, I'm dripping red. Don't let this r b shit fool you, niggas get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga, you a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking, you ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your clique, let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool, I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you was still with a bitch, I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit, don't let that line go over your head, I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick, there's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas, I'm a defecator. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste, that's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up. Boy, I would've broke you in half. Quit trying to be tough, you ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Quit talk about drugs, you the only pack that I've been smoking on. I just hit my plug, told them come back, I'ma need more. Than one. Your last album was a weed trade, just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on, put you to bed. Night, night, that's to the fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you done said. RIP, take off, he the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping, Chris, don't say that, don't lose your head. Damn. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas, never knew revenge. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger Bring real beat to your dinner table My mental state ain't never stable I know this shit gon' sting, nigga I ran your ass through the ringer, nigga You just got body by a singer, nigga Bitch Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Who wants mm. want smoke with me? Who wants oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Hey Chris Brown, man I just wanna give you nothing but but praises, you keeping a hip hop, your R and B singer, but you, we all know you you could get down and get busy when it come to raps. 
You are somebody who never wanted to be left out of the mix when it comes to hip hop, period, because you still operate by those codes and morals and that code of conduct when it comes to just being a musician, point blank, period. Yeah, you might do a backflip, you might do a little twirl, you might do a little one-two step type shit, but you'll bar a nigga the fuck up. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually like you know, with all due respect to to, to 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 Quavo. I don't think Quavo got nothing for for, for Chris. I think Chris could rap with rappers. So I really don't think Quavo could really... Listen, this ain't time for harmonizing. This ain't time for no dab. This ain't time for none of that shit. This is time for you to get it in. By the way, Quavo's actually made... Uh, um, um, He's made up this song before. Remember when the whole thing with DC and there was like a chain snatches? Don't, it was like, don't play with me, Quavo. Y'all remember this song? Yeah, I think it was called The Truth. The money went... Yeah. Never been a gangster. Yeah, I can't play. I can't play fully. We can't even take the chance with with like a copywritten song. But uh, th this was a uh, this song by Quavo. Y'all could go listen to it. Uh, it's called The Truth. That was at like some dudes in DC that they were jacking that they had taken these guys' chains at the time third. Anyway, Chris Brown going hard, man. You know what I mean? Yo, I know I, the shade room gonna have the the, the truth about it. Right, the shade room gonna have the truth about it tomorrow. Did Chris Brown fuck Sweetie while Sweetie was with uh, um while Sweetie was with uh, uh Quavo? That would be interesting. I'm gonna tell you why that would be interesting because allegedly one of the reasons why Quavo and Offset fell out is because people felt like supposedly Offset. I know Offset's married to Cardi B, but they said that Offset fucked Sweetie. And that was like a violation because, yo, everybody know, like, if if we all friends, right? We all, like, you watching me, me and you, we friends. If if I fuck a whore and you fuck that same whore, no problem. I got a girlfriend, and even if I ain't with her, if you fuck her, you slimy. Like, you know what I mean? You're not supposed to try to fuck my girl or my ex-girl. That's slimy. Like, that's that's not what real niggas do. Um, so there was like a little tension. That's That's what we're hearing. But even then, I was thinking, I'm like, why would Sweetie want to fuck another nigga in the same group? I don't know if Sweetie a whore. You feel what I'm saying? But look like Chris Brown is saying that he smashed. Unless unless he talking about some other girl other than Chris Brown. I mean, talking about some other girl other than Sweetie. So we got to figure this shit out. But listen, man, let's get back to the motherfucking pick. To the main stage, man. Aubrey, Tracy, Trey, Graham. I told y'all, man. Why did y'all think I was lying? When I told y'all my top five is Trey, Trey, Trey. Drake and goddamn Aubrey, Drizzy, Drizzy, Marley, Graham. Why did y'all think I was lying? I told y'all, listen, I've been happy that I'm on the winning side. My favorite rapper always raps. My favorite rapper drops all the time. My favorite rapper stands by the codes of hip hop. He's going to respond. He's down to lyrically get down with anybody. He's been barring niggas up since whenever. He's giving her a bar, him a bar. Everybody get a bar. And nobody really wanted to squabble. All right, cool. Y'all say, oh, okay. Well, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, the push your T thing, we could call it LeBron James versus Dallas Mavericks in the finals. Okay, cool. We'll take that. But other than that, my boy undefeated. Everybody caught the fades. He's helped these niggas' careers. He's the only nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is some biblical shit. He killed the nigga career and brought him back to life, nigga. Yo, this nigga looked like a mummy out the fucking casket when he brought that nigga back to life. And that nigga was like, am I back alive again? Look at this shit, nigga. Yeah, right here, nigga. You, you, know, you know I'm about to pull up uh, when he walks this nigga out, nigga. That's how you bring a nigga back to earth. Feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Brought that nigga back to earth. This some biblical shit, nigga. You ever seen a nigga kill a nigga? And nigga, only Jesus we seen die and come back to life. Drake killed the nigga, gave him, gave him um going bad, and then brought this nigga back out of the fucking casket like a mummy. Look at this mummy ass nigga right here. Oh my god, I'm back alive. I'm so, is this Earth or is this a pearly gates? I don't know what it is. Oh my god, Drake is like he's just chilling. This nigga looking like yo, is this the morgue? What the fuck? What's on my toe? Yeah, nigga, you a fucking corpse. Killed you, brought you back. All I'm saying is my favorite rapper, Keep It Hip Hop, does yours? I'm asking honestly, does yours? 
So let's run that back one more time. Stop playing with me, nigga. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. We need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Fuck this Canadian light skin dot. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls, that's a gift for me. Heard it on the Budden podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive. And the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos, he is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You asked for the smoke, now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. But run the numbers up, I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to snow. Yes, you. What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the House of Blues And now you got to do some dirty work You know how to move, right? Right? I know you never been to jail Or with jumpsuits and shower shoes Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody Never did nothing violent And no one it's the homies that empower you But still, you got to show this fucking aisle Who's boss on the West? Now's the time to really make a power move Cause right now it's looking like you writing out the game plan On how to lose, how to bark up the wrong Hello? Holy. Yo. Hey, Bruce. Big Act in the building. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Hey, what the fuck? I literally. Wait, what? Yo, academics. It's cracking. The goat right, just dropped. The... Hey, academics. Put your... <laughs> the goat just dropped. Bro, what is going on? The Pick... goat just dropped. Hey, hey, hey. I was talking to the boy. Hold on, let me, I'm going to put my camera on real quick. I was talking to the boy. He's like, he's been racking his brain. How do you get a part-time rapper to actually fucking rap? He said, yo, I was waiting on Kendrick for years to go first. That's what he told <laughs> it's me. It's actually him. <laughs> I swear, he said, I promise you, he said, I was waiting on Kendrick to go first that I could actually drop. But then hey. Kendrick fans, hold on. Kendrick fans did do mental gymnastics. No, no. You, oh, he dropped like that. It's number one in the country. Drake said, fuck it. I'm going to drop a clear disc. He said, no subliminals. Everybody know when it comes to bars, Drake is the best in the world. He usually subliminally decimates you. You know what he said? He wanted to make it very clear. He called his name. He said it directly. Check this out. You know what everybody said? Nah, that's AI. Wait. He didn't claim it yet. He didn't drop it. Yo, they have every excuse in the, in the book. Every excuse. Oh, well, does he really mean it? Oh, well, every excuse. Okay, they drop it. They said, no, well, if he didn't release on DSPs, it don't count. You know what Drake said? Fuck it. It's on DSPs today. Did you see it? It's going crazy. You know what they said? Uh, um, well, Kendrick is dropping his album. He can't drop when he has a number one song called Like That and Taylor Swift is dropping. You know what this nigga Drake just said? He Tell said, bro, I, I can't drop a song to get you to rap to me. You know what I got to do? Drake had to go to the hackers. Yo, teach me how to make AI. I got to talk to this guy from a <laughs> dead guy's voice. I got to talk to you from the spirit of Tupac. I got to talk to you from the conscience of Snoop Dogg. I got to tell you, stop being a bitch and let's squabble. Hey, 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 listen to I really share what, what me, me and the boy talk about, but but he definitely said this because I, I thought this was an amazing chess move. I didn't even know about this. He said to me this. I'm going to read it directly. He said, bro, everybody knows he just came off an 84-city tour. It broke every record. He made hundreds of millions of dollars. We're, it's, gonna, it's the best and highest-selling hip-hop tour of all time. Everybody would be exhausted. He went on tour with Savage. Then he went on tour with J. Cole. Then Wayne. He, bro, he should be tired. You know what he said? He said, bro, I was trying to come off tour 
and relax. And niggas fucked up my whole feng shui. You know what feng shui is? You know, your whole vibe. You know what I mean? Like your whole little ambiance. The, 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 come on. And he said, now I got to eat until this debate is over. He's locked in the studio. It is, yo, he is ready for war. And he's just not going to, you know, you see Kendrick fans going to be like, oh, no, well, we got to wait till like the summertime and maybe he dropped. No, 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 no. He wants to clear this up in a month. We're not going to keep this beat like, yo, this guy doesn't rap often. Kendrick Lamar is a ghost. Hey, if you seen a guy, would you be for, would you be for someone who streams once a year no. or he quits? Well, actually, you be trying to quit a couple of times, so I got to get at you about that. But anyway, a guy oh, who's a part-time rapper, he's Kawhi Leonard. So anyway, he's begging this guy to drop, and now we're at the point of how long do we have to wait drake is telling you if kendrick drops today he might drop tomorrow he's ready what more do we want from drake what more do we have to ask for for kendrick to rap hey so, if you're from la you should be disappointed if you're a kendrick fan you should be disappointed j cole fans <laughs> you, you guys need jesus because if if Drake had, if Drake had, uh, apologized to a motherfucker, I would have deleted my entire streaming career and music. I couldn't listen to to him the same. But Kendrick Lamar fans, if you don't encourage this guy to actually do what you claim that he's the best at, he's taking like a whole year to rap. Anyway, what's up, man? Hey, Ak. So look, bro. Uh, it is crazy. What's in, uh, you know? I haven't spoken to you, bro. You've been you've been busy, man. I I love to see you on your rants, bro. You know I've only been watching your streams and your reactions to everything, bro. I just want to say you've been holding it down, bro. Um, it, it's great to see what you're doing because you're not you're not dick sucking, bro. You're keeping it a buck, and I appreciate that, bro. As a hip hop fan, I appreciate academics. You are keeping it a buck. Thank you're being you. yourself, and you don't give a fuck about what anybody says. And I love that about you, bro. Hey, the, 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 this is the peak of you know when it comes to streaming for me. You know, a lot of people they know. You know, we talk about rap news this and third. But my come up has always been about these moments that was high tense in, in the culture. So, man, I just want to see it happen. And I, everybody knows I'm, I'm like, you know, Drake, my favorite rapper, but I want Kendrick to respond. I want us to go back and forth. This is what makes the culture um, um, great. It does. And, you know, you know, you know, I'm a very big J. Cole fan, right? Very big. Still? Like, <laughs> well, hold on. Before what? you sip that, hold on. Before you sip that bottle, hold on a second. Act. <laughs> Listen, bro, you know I fuck with the 2014 Forest Hills Drive, the Born Center, the Cold War sideline story. He lied what? to us. He lied. What do you mean? He told How? us, he told us, he told us we the big three like we started a league. But right now I'm feeling like Muhammad Ali. I listened to them bars and I was like, yes, this is a guy saying, imagine a guy said he felt like he was Floyd Mayweather, felt like he was Michael Jordan. He felt like he was, you're thinking he's ready for smoke. He said, listen, if he said, if I ever diss you, uh, he said, uh, he, some, some, some like, oh, your caller ID basically saying it's going to be so direct. He was saying that I'm ready for any, that. man. Once I saw him apologize, I, yo, I thought I was in a bad dream. Why did you hype us up? You lied. You lied to us. Don't tell us that you're this because this is the thing about hip hop, right? This is why it's a great competitive sport. Everything that you're saying that you are, eventually you will be tested, right? You're saying, yo, if it ever goes down, like, for example, you know, like, I, I'll use an example. Gangster rappers say, if it ever goes down, I'll never snitch. It's cute to say that when you're not arrested, right? Until you yeah. get locked up and it's like, fuck, I'm, I'm facing 40 years? All right, I'm definitely snitching. Now people get to know the real you. You only see the real person when these moments happen. So we're seeing the real Drake. We're seeing the real Kendrick. I've always said this about Kendrick. Great at making moments, but he's always dropped a grenade in the room and ran out. And he's never, ever came back to finish the job. People were impressed by the grenade drop. Drake is actually saying, all right, cool, we're actually in a fight, let's go. We're going to see the true Kendrick, the true Drake. Drake clearly, I hear he got about a couple more of these loaded. And you know Drake. True. I'm going to tell you right I now, can... obsessively, and, and, and you know, I don't think it would be tight if I say this, obsessively, night and day, 
weird times of the morning, weird times of the night, he's obsessed with this current situation. Why? Because he cares about his legacy. This is a legacy play. Sure. This is a guy with a jumbo he, he jet that's made a billion dollars just off music. His other, you know what I mean? Shoot, he has a, he has a great situation with kick. Like, he, uh, uh, kick and steak, right? He's, he's, he's not starving for cash. Why does he care about this? He cares about this because at the end of the day, he doesn't want, when we're 10 years older and we're talking about this time, there to be a debate where we're like, oh no, some people think, it went the other way. He cares about legacy. And truth be told, I understand that. Yeah. No, I, I, you know, I do want to say this. Like, the other day, this guy could just basically say, fuck off. He had the great, one of the greatest tours of all time. You just said most gross hip-hop tour. 83, 84 cities. Amazing. Yep. Motherfucker got state money on the on the side hustle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I, this guy's just like, yo, Kendrick, get the fuck out of your little shell and come out and fucking tell me, show me what you're about. Yep. Where is it? Why is Kendrick not drop act? I'm, let me try to be unbiased and try to answer. What I think Kendrick and I think his advantage is, is hey, you're the guy who's a little bit more popish, but I'm the guy. So, so on the pop side, Drake, you know, kind of flourishes more. He appeals to everyone. He's more palatable. But I'm the guy that's known for art. And I need to find a way to artistically create the scenario where I'm responding to you that everyone is saying, I tore you layer by layer. I eviscerated you. And it just shows the levels between us as artists, right? Hey, cool. Your song might've been good for the clubs, but I just, it literally eviscerated your soul to go back and give a reference that some people might know Jay-Z and Nas. Jay-Z was more popular. He drops Takeover. And this is Nas. When Nas dropped a song called Ether, that that became a verb. Yo, I ethered you. And uh -huh, what that was that. was a lyrical breakdown of someone's soul. He said, you 36 in a karate clash. Like he was talking about just everything that was even insecure about him. You know what I mean? And. That's why I think Kendrick is taking so long because he has to plan that, right? Got it. Got it. So, so Ak, you know, I want to go back, you know, because now everyone's turning on Drake. Uh, it's kind of crazy, Ak. I don't know if you remember. You and I did our stream, and you literally were like, Aiden, Metro and Future drop an album, and I think it's about Drake. Yeah. You knew there was going to be some type of drop, which is cool because, Chad, again, academics is not cap. He's got the inside info, always. And I want to say this real quick, you know. Uh, when I was uh, when I was 11 years old, academics, I went on a Drake tour. It was his Take Care tour. Really? Did you know that he brought Kendrick Lamar? ASAP Rocky, J. Cole, The Weeknd. Uh, he brought all these guys on tour with him, gave them all a hit. I'm talking, he gave Meek Mill, um, Amen. He gave ASAP Rocky fucking problems. You know what I'm saying? He gave J. Cole in the morning. He gave Kendrick uh, Poetic Justice. And Kendrick was featured on his album, too. Go ahead. Hold that shit. You, know, you cooking. You cooking right now. So what I'm trying to say is, and, and French was also on that tour, I'm pretty sure, too. And he gave him, um, what, did French, what did he give French? Um, oh, uh, He gave him Pop That. Don't, Yo, no, so don't, 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 stop. Yeah. So this is my point. And these guys have all, if you go look at old interviews, they're always saying, like, Drake believed in you for nobody. Drake, Drake always believed in me. So what went wrong? Why did all these guys turn on him? I've been asking that very same question. And by the way, Trainwreck, so what up to you, bro? my brother? You know, I fuck with you. Hey. Uh, you know, I appreciate uh, that, bro. You too, bro. It's all love. Academics to kick. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, we got to get so, you on a contract. No, we got to get hey, you on a contract. Hey. hey so, act, tell me, though, why Why after I'll tell you Drake why. took them all on tour, basically gave them a hit, and they all, in previous interviews, speak highly about Drake, 10 years later... They're all five you wanting and teaming up against. Yo, them. why? This has boggled my mind to the utmost, to the point I've even asked Drake. I've said, what did you do to these guys? You must have done something. And, and, and I've asked around, like, is he just a fucked up person? But but I've I seen you guys talk highly of him before. I, I, Rick Ross said, yo, me and Drake are one of the 2% the, the writers ever. I heard Kendrick give him the highest praise and saying, Yo, I love this guy. I heard ASAP Rocky says the only person I owe something to in my career is Drake. I heard these guys speak so highly of it. So it, it comes down to two things. And, and, and it's very sad that I got to like 
actually trivialize it to these two things. It's either jealousy of this guy that, number one, you know, I've always said, with any billionaire, they've been, they, they, they've they've probably fucked a couple people over. Like if, if you see any, there's no billionaire, there's no billionaire that's like just done every. And when I mean fuck, not like because they're bad people, they're shrewd businessmen, right? Hey, listen, yo, I worked with you here. You're cold. All right, cool. I know you thought we're friends. I moved on a little bit, and I think that may have eventually turned to some jealousy. The other side is women. Women. I do think, and I'm, I'm one of the biggest fans of Drake, and I do think that because Drake, you know, he plays the game of, you know, really being in the mix and he's the guy, I think Drake has honestly been with a lot of these guys. Girls. Girls. There's a lot of rumors about that. And I do believe that resentment built up, but it's hard when... You're the guy. Like, you know, I was listening to this track. L l let me give you what you what we just heard. Did you play this track on your stream? The Taylor yeah. Freaks? Okay. Yeah. Drake is so bored, waiting for Kendrick. He Drake doesn't know too much about AI. Trust me, I talked to him. He didn't know too much about AI. This is within, like, maybe, like, four or five days. This is how quick he probably got onto it. He had to learn about making AI tracks. He then was like, you know what? Instead of like rejecting it and be like, yo, hey, they're putting out fake tracks of me. Let me use it and make a track that's going to get this. Instead of going against the technology, embrace it. Here's what he does. He writes all three verses. He writes. He wrote Pox verse. AI Pac. He wrote AI Pox. He wrote AI Snoop. And now here's the funny thing. If you, everybody's watching 8 Mile, right? Come on. That, that's a reference everybody knows. Hey. One of the dopest things in a battle, well, first of all, everybody knows the eight mile strategy. You diss yourself and you kind of like neutralize your opponent. It's Drake true. Drake basically writes his pox saying, hey, why don't you rap that he's a Canadian? He's soft. Rap about, oh, they're saying he likes little girls. Like he's almost like doing the eight mile thing because, you know, like I know you make it your face. So J Joe Button said on a podcast, which, you know, completely incorrect. But, you know, he, he's just kind of dressing things that might be angles for Kendrick. So oh, he, he, what Kendrick's going to talk about. Yes. So he writes almost a diss to himself, except it's so clever. And people give all the credit to in artistry to Kendrick. But here's the thing. Drake has that, too, because he wrote versus this is dissing himself from them. And it was phrased as, Hey, why don't you diss Drake? You could use this as a, a, a thing. This is a thing. This is a thing. He's writing yeah. this is to himself. Yeah, Brilliant. so, Ak, you know, also, man, I... Here's another thing, too. It's like, if you look at the 8-mile strategy, obviously, Eminem, the last round, he choked. Papa Doc... No, it wasn't Papa Doc, was it? He choked. Basically, the last... He choked out. You know why? It was M Papa basically, Doc, yeah. M said everything... Because he's basically setting Kendrick up. He's basically trying to pivot Kendrick to drop this diss track. He's not doing it still, though. How long until Kendrick drops, Ak? And if he doesn't drop, what happens next? <clears throat> well, th this was an amazing chess move by, by Drake. He's now put out all the things that Kendrick could talk about. Now, the, he, here's the biggest struggle, and this is why I think he might be taking Kendrick a little while. Unless you have... Some, you know, the the only thing that could be the, you know, the, the knockout punch, if we're comparing it to boxing, you would have to come with an exposal of Drake that would be tantamount to what Pusha T did with his child. So you now need to either wow the public with some information that they've never seen, or what you're going to be left doing is regurgitating what everybody said about him but you need to be so clever and so genius creatively that you put it in a way that nobody's ever done. That's like, I want to say one thing because I see people in the chat talking. Everyone's saying that Drake took three weeks. Kendrick took four months. First person shooter dropped. What, when did it drop? Act like five months ago. Yeah, something it, like that. Yeah, it, like, it dropped on uh, um for all the dogs. So and one. like that, that verse was recorded probably right before the album came out. So stop saying stupid shit. Oh, Drake took a few. Bro, he took four months. Kendrick took four months. And, uh, you know, Kendrick, like hey. everyone is saying, Ack, is it true that he had a four-year diss track sitting on it? it? That was always the rumors. It, yeah. Listen, 
it was always the rumor that he was going to eventually diss Drake. But Drake, honestly, Drake, from what I know, Drake doesn't have a problem with the guy. Drake's number one. When you're number one, are you worrying about the guy that's number two, three, or four, or five? No. no. Hey, I'm number one. I'm doing what I got to do. And this guy who's watching you, number one, he feels all type of way. So Drake never, he, he, Drake wasn't going around like, I got to get him. So Drake was like, if he ever tries to get me, I'll respond. But I don't necessarily, I'm not jumping out the window. But, but, but there were rumors about that from a long time ago. You're muted. Drake didn't even really diss him on first person shooter, but Kendrick just responded, you know, with a diss. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. That's just. No, it, 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 it's, it's a very interesting situation because this was inevitable to happen. It was inevitable to happen. But I, I do know that Drake was, he was ready for this to happen all the time. Like, I wish, I, I really wanted to see J. Cole, honestly, ally with Drake. I really wanted to see that, bro. I really because I'm a J. Cole fan act and I and I fuck with Cole. Like I, you know what I mean? I, I really do. Um and I, I just I really, really wanted to see him ally with Drake. But I feel him though, like what he did and in a way because he's just trying to separate himself from it. Yo, l l let me bring up a reference that maybe your chat and even you might not be familiar with. Anybody to... is anybody familiar with, you know, uh, it's a very popular, you know, hip hop black movie called Boys in the Hood. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that movie for sure. Cool. Well, there's a part the, where, where they're about to go get revenge on the guys who did something to their people. And one of the guys say, man, let me out the car. Let me out the car, okay? I don't want to be a part of this. That's <laughs> J. Cole. Let me out the car. You don't want to be at the drive-by or the drive-thru. You know what I mean? Well, the drive-by, right? You're doing the drive-by on, on, like, the guys who just, they just shot up your block. They killed your friend, your best friend they killed, right? You're about to go get revenge. You got this one guy, he, like, everybody's, like, cleaning their guns. Everybody's doing their thing. They're like, all right, bet. We know, everybody knows what's going to happen. And this one guy, he's, like, he's fidgeting around. And you don't want this guy. The worst person, you know, Andrew Tate told a story one time. And I like the story, what he told. Because this is what J. Cole is. He said that, uh, he said he was being confronted by, like, a bunch of dudes. It was him and his friend, and he was being confronted by a bunch of dudes. And he said, I think he said his friend was either trying to talk him out of it or was like, no, no, we shouldn't, blah, 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 blah. Like, basically showing signs of weakness. And he said the way he showed sign of strength, he said he knocked out his friend first. You know why? That's J. Cole. You got to knock him out. You know why? Because that guy is signaling to them that you're vulnerable. So you know what he did? He said he knocked. You got to go. I love Andrew Tate's stories because they, they all have real meaning to it. He said he knocked out his friend first. Why? Because that motherfucker, this weak motherfucker, was signaling to them that they were scared, and he wasn't. He had to put on the, the, the front, the face, that he wasn't scared at all. And also, by this guy doing that, it was already now giving them confidence to even do more shit. So once he did that, he kind of neutralized them. That's J. Cole. I'm glad J. Cole got out the whip. He should have never been in the car to get with. Imagine you're in a fight for your life, and you look over, and J. Cole's apologizing to the guys trying to kill you. Hey, I'm sorry. Like, you're getting pulverized. There's 15 people punching you. J. Cole's over here pleading for his life rather than swinging. Get him the fuck out of here. Let him go read a book. Let him go do some other, like, let this motherfucker go, like, you know what I mean, um, uh, hibernate or some shit. But right now, it's not a time for it. Nope. Uh, question. I know we're going to talk about a lot more things. Uh, what were your thoughts? Did you hear the Chris Brown diss track? Yes. Yes. That yes. was crazy, Ak. He, he went crazy. Like, actually insane. I was, Who'd he I, diss? Who'd he diss? Quavo. He diss Quavo. Okay. Hey, by the way, hey, I, I'm wondering if, like, maybe we could try to get a parallel here because, you know, we're all streamers and we're in the streaming community, even though, you know, we're hip-hop adjacent. I'm in hip-hop. But still, you know what everybody's beefing about, like, in hip-hop right now, right? Even Chris Brown. They beat it's girls. girls. It's girls. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's Not crazy. As well, everyone yo, might as well go gay. Yo, <clears throat> Chris Brown says literally to... That was crazy. Yo, Chris... No, get out of here. Chris Brown says yeah. to Quavo, he says, you're hyped that you fucked my ex, which is Karuche, right? Oh. And that's after Chris Brown broke up with her. <laughs> yo, then he drops a bomb. And, and, and tomorrow, all the gossip pages, they're going to try to figure out if it's true. He says, you're hyped because you fucked my ex, Karuche. He says, but... 
your ex while you were with her, I fucked her then. Meaning okay. is, is Sweetie, he's saying that Sweetie cheated on Quavo with him, which is like news to everyone. Which, by the way, there's also rumors that his his group mate, which is, you know, uh, uh, um, Offset, they're saying Offset fucked her. Which that's why why Offset and, and Quavo hasn't been. There's a lot of shit going on. But but holy fuck! The main point is that yo women are the center <laughs> of all of this shit, and it just goes Lock to them. show these yeah, guys who are. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, woman woman is the woman is the downfall of every man. This Literally. goes all the way back in the old times, right? Like yeah, weren't countries like fighting entire wars? over a single woman and like is that shit's real right that's not just some sort of metaphor or analogy or some shit right that's real shit true you're right why is this why the fuck is this hey you, we could look you know the, the, no matter what religion you're in um if you if you have some type of book of uh, of stories you'll probably like i read the bible and if you read the bible you'll see many stories of a woman um influence in wars influence in conflict it could be from adam and eve and how we got kicked out of paradise it could be with delilah and samson it could be with like you know david it could be with with, with king solomon it could be with um if you go back to the book of job it it it, it, it was always about women and some of the debauchery that comes with it tainting men to be unfocused and then most of the times God came in to say, hey, you are now distracted from serving me. Hey, I see what you put on your screen, motherfucking oh Aiden. My God. I'm going to slap the fuck out of you. <laughs> hey, Aiden. Hey, hey, Aiden. You think I won't show up to that warehouse? You better stop playing with me. <laughs> Wait. I, I, my bad, bro. I saw your stream with Trump Jr. I want to say that was a big stream, bro. Congrats, bro. That was awesome, bro. Um, you know, I know uh, we didn't make time in the warehouse because the whole – I basically there was no time to be able. Ever whenever you're in Miami, bro, you let me know. Wait, why um, did you retire, bro? Academics. That was <laughs> fake. You I took a five. I can't. You're gonna ramble. Listen, I you didn't know. fuck it. Academics. Well, let me I ask didn't. you this. Let me ask this, uh, Ak. Nice meeting you, but by the way, uh, you know, nice we kind of just jumped into this. But are you a, are you a fan of Hennessy? I got it right here. You Bro, Hennessy, I don't know what it is about Hennessy. Hennessy, you know, people say this shit's a myth, but I'm telling you it's real shit. Hennessy gets me in like a violent mood. Oh, yeah. No, that's a fact. That's a fact, right? Okay. We need a scientific study on this and, and, and try to figure out what the heck. There has to be something, you know, a lot of things interact with like, you know, for example, you know, if people take drugs, you know, we were trying to, or, or even sex, dopamine, like we're trying to stimulate. What the fuck is in Hennessy that stimulates aggression? No, and it makes you horny. It makes you horny too. Right? Uh, I mean, kidding. it does, but but I, I'm going to be honest, and, and I don't want to get too TMI here, but I've been off the Henny sometimes, and I got the Henny dick, which is just like useless. It's like, yo, y'all never had the y'all never had the henny dick. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's because you drink a lot. <laughs> yo, yo, I see you pull up the meat. Yo, stop playing with me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. All right, man. All right, look, the retirement shit is fake as fuck. I took a five day break. Motherfuckers got crazy. You know how the AR lows are on Twitter. They went insane. They basically made up a fake poster, made it look legit. I don't even speak like that, bro. I'm not going to no fucking retirement. I'm 23 years old, and I sit in a fucking chair. I have an easy uh, life. All right? And you be losing a lot in gambling. You know, somebody told me you're retired. I'm like, hey, he loses too much in, on gambling to retire. Like, the, retirement is for the people who are, like, really good with money. Aiden's not. Oh, I, <laughs> Yo, I suck with money. I suck. <laughs> Yo, when you're, bad, when you're bad with money, like, it, it drives you to work more because you're like, Thanks. Damn, yeah. I fucked this up, but at least yeah. I know my work ethic is there that I'll make it back. If you're the retirement type of guy, kick your feet up on the table. You want to be like so careful with money because you don't want to work. Well, that's why I have a set of money aside that I'm, I won't touch. And I just basically work for my lifestyle. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yo, I, I, hmm. I was watching on like all the them pages. Train wrecks go at XQC. What was that about? I thought you guys were like gaming or something. No, no, no. X and I, we're we're good friends. We're longtime friends. And some see, here's the thing. To me, that is normal banter. That's normal friendship banter, right? Yeah, yeah. 
but because of like who we are, for some reason, it like hits news. And I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people secretly want to see me and X fall. Right. So they just they just publish the shit out of it. They make it as something it's really not. And they're just hoping that one of us, you know, like turns on each other and takes the bait. But it's all just like brotherly love, right? Like that's, you know, I'm a 1990s kid, right? That's what we do. We shit talk each other, but when shit gets real, we're there for each other, right? Mm. So that's nothing more than that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? You, well, act, you know how it is. You know how it is. Act, you be in the Discord's wager in Fortnite. It gets heated, bro. Yeah, so course. you know what it's like. So, you know, Ak, and yeah. I remember, Ak, when I was living in New York back in 2021, I'd be in the Discord calls all day with you guys. I remember you'd have all your little top dogs come and try to play me in Tuca, and I would take all their fucking money. I would side it. Ak, I felt so... Stop it. Ak, I felt so fucking bad what i do. 2022, I locked that stake deal, and I, 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 what I, I tipped you bread. Did I not tip you some money to gamble with? Nah, you did, you did. You my boy, you, you're a good person. You, you're, you're a good person just overall. Like, you know what I mean? Thank you, Ak. Would you ever give me money? If I had as much as you, of course I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ash, you know I went to uh, your home country, Jamaica. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. So, first of all, I <clears throat> I just ordered like a little like the little IRL little streaming backpack thing. Um, <laughs> I had to bro. because number one, I love streams mm -hmm. here, but like I'm watching you and Kai and everybody else. Like, yo, I haven't been on a vacation in two <laughs> years. I promise you, because like I'm almost like tied to this chair and like sitting here and streaming and like i i feel like if, if i was just kind of like i love the thing i did with trump well not trump but like you know donald trump jr where you know i was just like out and moving around because when, when you're kind of only doing desktop streams which i love like because i really think when it comes to like you know pause no diddy like on this mic i don't think nobody could fuck with me uh, and you know i think i hold it down i do the best friends whatever the case is but you know i always want to diversify and, and i'm watching you you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, yo, Aiden can't really like hold his own in Jamaica. Even Kai, like, even though I think Kai, Kai's like mom is Jamaica. I'm like, nigga, I was born in Jamaica. Like, I should have been there with y'all. Real talk. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. I'm actually surprised that you guys are going to some of these countries and nothing crazy's happening. What the fuck? Wait, 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 well, crazy like how? something happened. Something happened to that, uh, you know, Arab in in Haiti. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but no, I'm saying like. Right, like people do a lot less. Like we're talking the access you guys have to not only money but crypto. Right, it's like when when the public, especially certain you know, certain groups in different countries, know you have that kind of access. I'm just shocked that that attention and that level of money that's made public isn't bringing more negative. You know, and knock on wood, thank God that doesn't happen. But I'm just like shocked you guys don't think about this. Like. Do y'all have like a bigger security team? Is there like a because one or two guys is not enough? Y'all need like a SEAL team. Well, six. I, you know, I went with Ru Russian, you know, the producer Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you was linking he, Russian? Yeah, Russian liked that in Jamaica. So he was taking care of me and Kai and shit. Uh, it was good, bro. And we met up with some, you know, a, a couple rappers and shit out there. It was good. It was good vibes, bro. Yo, hey, what, come on. Am I tripping for saying that? Or is that like, yes! not like a, is that not a concern? No, 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 no. You're not tripping. Um, obviously, that would never happen in, you know, in my home country of Jamaica. Yeah, but not I've, Jamaica. I'm talking these other places. No, no, people I, are I, going. no, no, I've seen them in certain places. Like, even like, like you know, I like know this India. Is, um, How about India? Is India not like a, you know, like when you go to India, like, is that not a little sketch to kind of be walking around and, you know, like, I mean, listen, you know, shout out to India, but. Ah, oh, fuck. This is dangerous territory. But y'all know what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. I don't got to say it, right? I mean, I don't <laughs> uh, know. Yeah. So, yo, I didn't tell anybody. Act. You know, when we flew into Jamaica, we yeah. flew uh, <clears throat> we flew private. Yeah. And um, one of my boys, he had some shit on him. And um, I'm not going to say which boy. And it's my first time talking about the story. And I'm thinking it's good now. And I'm not going to even say what he had on him. If he wants to come clean and talk about the story, he can. And, you know, we thought he was really going to get in some trouble. Um, yeah. You know, they let him go past uh, customs and borders and shit. Uh, but the point I want to say is, you know, because, uh, Train, you reminded me to bring, like, basically the story. You know, these other countries and shit. I mean. Oh, Shania, you already told you guys? We're good. Wait, wait, wait Okay. What do you have? Oh, uh, he has some weed on him. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, weed, it's, you know, Bob Marley, Jamaica, 
right? Weed is so illegal it's like, in Jamaica. It's legal. No, it's illegal. I guess. Huh? It's illegal, man. Why? It is not legal. I don't know why y'all think, Bob. Listen, from what, maybe I'm m- m- ill-informed. You cannot bring marijuana there, bro. Like right, everybody so, smokes, but it's, but 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 it's it's not like something that's on the books that it's completely legal. Let me Google. Well, regard, this all right, all right, whatever. Point is, one of my boys, you know, try to bring some shit in, whatever. We bet me and he, he was all right. So, but act the issue was um, on the way back. You know, I was supposed to come home like a day before, but they they held my plane because he had to like really check everything out with my group. So that was my first time that we actually like in Jamaica. I don't even know because because of that. It was probably because it was carnival. Uh, but we actually got held in Jamaica. So I got held. I got held in Jamaica, um, basically, uh, to clear to clear a couple things. But I think it was. I don't know if it was because of that. I don't know. Yeah, when y'all are traveling, that's what I've always thought. Like because even even this like, and I know this is your op, so don't get sensitive. Like it, it, I thought, Neon got like like. I'm op. I actually helped Neon out with that uh, with that whole Dubai situation. I felt bad, bro. I don't want to see anyone in jail, especially someone from the streaming community that can't even handle jail. None of us streamers can handle jail. Um, I mean, bro, his camera was recording, you know, people unconsensual, and it's really big in Dubai. You got to really be careful. So yeah, I heard in uh, some countries you can't record like women or like like there's yeah, so exactly. much rules. You're yeah. always like probably breaking a rule by streaming because the natural vibe of streaming is just kind of you're just going going in. I do want to say one thing real quick. Yo, shout out to India. Okay, I got some boys there. Shout out to them. Shout out to Jamaica. I've been there. You know, good stuff. You know, d- no disrespect. No disrespect at all. I'm just saying, you know, you got to be a little careful <laughs> no matter where you're at. Okay, just making that clear. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> I, uh, but, you know, uh, you know, here's my thing. If you are entering another country and you know that these other countries have laws, respect them okay or stay out it's that simple don't go to another country disrespecting laws don't go to another country try to do things that you could do in your country you know what you're doing when you come in this other country respect it that's all that's it so these countries have these policies they might be weird to us but hey guess what that's what's not weird to them and respect it i just think shit's getting dangerous in america as is like irl streaming like we're heading to a point where something is going to happen one day and all the time and that's yeah. in America. So when you go to unknown areas where you don't know the laws, you don't know the people, you don't know the ins and outs of what streets you're on. Like, in my opinion, like that, that should be, you know, people should be more cautious of that and aware of that. That's all I'm saying. Does that make sense? No, 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 no. hundred percent. I have an idea and I, and I will do the stream with you and I can get it set up here in Miami. If you're down to do it, I'm telling you, Ak, it'll be your biggest IRL stream ever. You and me. We work at McDonald's together, nine to five. I'm, te- I'm telling you, I promise you, it'll be the biggest stream. That's like a great idea. <laughs> I, I'm down. You're with it. It would be like a dope ass stream. <laughs> what? what not, we what, do a nine to five, me and you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number one, just because I'm, I'm just a. Honestly, when it comes to IRL, I, I know I'm, I'm just a hilarious motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? I so know. Like, Act, I want to do a McDonald's it's, it's, day, a day working at McDonald's. And if I can't get McDonald's, because you know I'm a brand risk, we'll figure out. We'll, I'll get like a, a mom and pop burger spot, but still it'll be popular. You know, we'll, we'll have everyone pull up and be fire. Yo, there's no way McDonald's is gonna care about a brand risk. There's I don't no think shot. so either. You know, worst case, I'll just do, go through an application. <laughs> Yo, are you really a brand? You're not really. Hey, you know what's so funny? As you say, brand risk. Yo, so I'm going to, uh, you know, I go to Mar-a-Lago, and I go to Mar-a-Lago, and we get the tour. And, like, okay. yo, wow, such a tremendous... By the way, that's a place where they raided for Trump to send third, and we got this oh, oh, tour. Oh. And, um, great. So so, so we, we get the tour. We have dinner. Donald Trump Jr., he's, like, a boss. Like, he's such... He's a funny guy who's also, like, really down to earth. I was so shocked. Like, the dude, like... Literally, I thought Secret Service was going to come pick us up or security detail. Bro, he came, like, he drives pickup trucks. Like, he literally, he likes hunting and all shit right. like that. Anyway, cool. We, we do all that. We do the tour that day. And then the next day, we're going to go do, you know, the stream. And we actually were, we were missing some equipment and shit like that. And I call Sneeko, like, late la- last minute. I'm like, yo, I need, like, whatever, whatever. And he was like, yo, my guy, whatever. Just use the streaming backpack type shit. He right. comes through. 
yo, they hear I'm with Sneeko. They're like, yo, he cannot come anywhere near. That's what I'm talking about, brain risk. He could not. Yo, I felt such, yo, I felt so bad. He couldn't even come to approach property. Like, like his cameraman, we had to, we had like a little waiting period. They cleared his cameraman, but he couldn't come at all. Yes, that's a real brain risk then. You know, yeah. I, uh, I, I've talked to Trump a couple times. I, I actually introduced my dad to Trump, uh, UFC 299, the last one in Miami. Yeah, yeah. And uh, shout out to Dana, because Dana every time is just like, you know, really down to earth to let that happen. And bro, it's just like, Trump is really a really good dude, bro. And uh, he loves everyone. Everyone that loves Trump, he loves them. And uh, he loves America. Trump can fuck off and just basically kicks ass and say goodbye to everyone. You know, he's the only president to lose money in presidency. You know, it's just like he wants to make America great, genuinely. So I, I love Trump. And, uh, it, I, I, you know, I, I think Dana's really pushing for an Aiden Trump stream. And I want to make that happen this year. But um, I can't wait for him to be back in office. Yo, 100%, I definitely think it's going to happen. Yo, 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 by the way, it's interesting because, you know, you know, after I did the Donald Trump Jr. thing, well, actually, when I first went on to Rumble, you know, they first, they said, they're like, yo, you're right wing, which I'm like, not really. Like, I'm not right wing at all. I do like Trump, but I'm I'm not right wing. Like, low key, I would love to have Joe Biden on here, but will he stay awake for like, yo, I, I did like two and a half hours with, with motherfucking Donald Trump Jr. And then I was like, cool, if I can't get Biden, just like how I didn't get Trump, I got Trump's son. Can I get Biden's son? Bro, I would have to have like 59 prostitutes and like 25 crack boulders Whoa. here for him to like, <laughs> like, yo, I'm down for anything. Yo, I'm trying to get, if I can't get Biden, I'm down with his crack smoking son. But his crack smoking <laughs> son won't be on the stream. So who could I get? So now they're calling me right wing. Like, I want to get Biden. Back, he can't stay up. He's senile. He can't remember anything past three and a half seconds. And then the sun is, his nose is, his nostrils is just completely clear from all the, come on, all right, you know. Anyway. Act, you don't got to say anything. Act, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not talking about any presidential candidate. I'm talking about president. The only president in the United States that would ever actually hop on a live stream and is open to actually reaching out to our side of our demographic of media is Donald Trump. Bro, when I seen him on, on Full Send, he's been on there like twice. I was just like, yo, this dude is on yeah. Full Send Podcast, a podcast that I watch because I, I, I like these guys and they're like jokesters and like, you know, they're serious enough, but it's like, it's nothing super political. Yo, I remember the morning of, yo, I really actually thought it was going to be like this huge thing, even with Donald Trump Jr., right? I'm like, fuck. Okay, well, you know. This is a guy who's the son of a president. Like, I'm at Mar-a-Lago the day before. Yo, we're sitting, like, we had dinner. The guy who owns Marvel, they point at him. I don't even know if I should say this, but I, I guess I, I'm saying it already. The guy who owns Marvel, they were like, yo, that guy is worth $7 billion. He's sitting at the table next to us. He's at Mar-a-Lago. And um, it's like this older guy. So they're telling me even the story of how he got Marvel. And they're like, yo, he's a gangster. Like, he's a immigrant who came over here and did some dope business shit or whatever and Wait, did like, you sign an nda nah <laughs> no yo i'm gonna be honest with you like also yo they were, like to keep it real I, I was really like a little bit taken back because bro they're kind of like super regular and, yeah and and, and 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 that's the biggest compliment i know people are gonna be like yo you're lying bro that's the biggest compliment of donald trump jr like he was super dumb regular like yeah. I, I could tell he was trying to e even appeal to the world I was in, and like you know, like like his wife, like he has a beautiful wife, and, and she was like, "Oh, I'm I'm saying because I'm talking about the Drake and Kendrick beef." She was like, "I'm sampled on, I'm sampled on Kendrick's last album or the album before," and I was like, "Oh, whatever, whatever." And me and him, like me and Donald Trump Jr., we started talking, and he's like, "You know, I started talking about some hip hop stuff," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, this was popular hip hop." And I mentioned Diddy, and he's like, "Yo." He starts like giving stories because he used to know these people like through entertainment or whatever, and I was just like, "Wow, that's crazy," you know? Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, bro. It's yeah, I love the Trumps, man. Trump twenty twenty four chat. You guys know your vote matters. Um, yeah, Trump twenty twenty four. It's just a weird world. What else, Ack? What other topics, man? Young boy. What are your thoughts on what's happening with Top Man? I mean, oh uh, my God, man, yo. <clears throat> 
Is it bad? It's bad. Yo, I, I'm going to be honest with you. And, like, I, I in the last, like, day, I've been, like, trying to, like, mentally. It, like, so I went up to, quote, unquote, Grave Digger Mountain. That's where young boy was living. Me and him, we had fell out for a little bit. He had said some things about me. I felt offended. I said some things about him. And I went up there, and, and it was more of a, you know, trying to get that relationship back going. I always tell people, I'm like, I'm not like a content whore, right? Like, you know, I'm not, I went up there, spent four days. We did do some content, but we both agreed how we wanted to put it out. And that's why it hasn't came out. And it won't come out until we're both in cohesion. And because we agree that that content, when we're going to put it out, we're going to both agree and we're going to edit it together because, you know, obviously he was on house service at that time. And yeah, I never want to get him in trouble. And man, I, anytime things like this happen, I always like, I don't know if I personalize it too much because I was there for like four or five days or whatever. And then he had told me, he was like, yo, and, and he wasn't even being facetious. He wasn't trying to be funny or nothing like that. I could tell like he wanted, he was on a self-improvement journey too. He was like, hey, Ak, I think you should stay here for another week. He called a couple people up. He's like, yo, send a whole bunch of merch here. Ak doesn't have enough clothes. I sent all the merch, like the the, the NBA Youngboy merch here because he needs to have clothes. And I want him to stay here for another week. And he told me, he said, bro, Ak, like, let's do some, like, dope shit. Like, we should, like, in the next week, let's start going to the gym. Let's start doing certain shit Aww. that could benefit our health. No, he's not trying to be funny. Like, he's really just, and, 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 I, and, I, and I watched him there and, and, and even saying that to me, and I was just like, I could tell he was trying to, like, bro, you know, if you've never been in the situation he's been in, I know he's a really rich guy, but he's been on federal house arrest for going on three years. I know. For the people who are saying, hey, well, he lives in a mansion, this is that third. Bro, I'm with Youngboy. Youngboy creates music all day. He's there trying to feed his family. He's almost like a slave to the industry, and I'm not saying this to make him like, like <coughs> belittle him, but wait, Ak, was he? Sorry to interrupt, but was he actually? He was on house arrest because I saw him go to like Target with Lil Mabu, and uh... it, it, so so he he had um, and, and they had to they had to petition for this many times. Oh, I see. On certain family things, that's that's why it, when the, the Lil Mabu thing, it had to, he had to have family with him. They could go to certain things like he could, he could go to the store for a bit, right? By the way, he has probably the best security I've ever seen, other than when Six Nine was in beef, and um, yeah, he couldn't really go many places though. So like, of course, every time he ever went to like a store, you're you're gonna see it because he you know it's crazy about Six Nine. I didn't tell yo, I didn't tell anyone. He DM me and asked me to introduce him to Kick. Really? When? Yeah, but uh. This was, uh, let me tell you, it was during my retirement. 6 9 DM me. He said, um, no, hold on one second here. He DM'd me and he basically sent me someone's phone number and said, have him reach out. But, um, you know, I, you know, I love Steve will do it. That's like my, my guy. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just saw what happened with Steven 6 9 and, uh, I just can't. Yeah, I know, cause I know, I know the type of guy Steve will do it is. And it's like, he's such a good fucking dude. Like, I love Steve. Me to myself. Yeah. I just, I, I saw with Steve with that situation. I don't want to, because I know Steve did everything he can to get him a rumble. It's a whole different thing. Hey, hey, Sorry to cut you off. Back on the, uh, back on the no, fucking. No, no, no. Um, I, I add on to that. What I've realized about that, and by the way, you know, I, I did an interview recently with um, Vlad TV. And by the way, I, I don't know if you have any interest, but Vlad does want to try to, you know, either sit with you or try to have a conversation with you. But anyway, uh, I, I remember having the conversation with him and saying, what I've gotten from Aiden is that, man, Aiden's a loyal dude. And, you know, just like how you're loyal to Boosie, he's loyal to Charleston White. And Charleston White and him, they're locked in and they've been doing some good shit together. And I know, yo, Aiden's just not the cloud chaser that would be like, oh, well, this could be the, I'm, I'm going to snake Charleston. And that's what I was trying to explain to him. And I think he got it eventually, though. 
Yeah, bro, it's just the same thing. Like, he's very loyal to Boosie, and I'm very loyal to Charleston White. I love Charleston. We've had good talks off stream. I've been fucking depressed, having shit days. Fuck the cameras. He calls me for, like, 30 minutes. We talk about life. He mentions he brings up his little shit he went through, and he brings it to life. You know, obviously, him and I had a little fallout. We made up for it, and, you know, it is what it is, but it's whatever. Um, But, yeah, man, I mean, look, it's just no disrespect to anyone. I, bro, I don't care, bro. Think about me, bro, like... I really realized it. You know, I was in the sauna today with Convy. We were we we were like half naked. No homo. No pause. No, 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 no. but like no Diddy. No Diddy. No, Say it with no me. No Diddy. No Diddy. Okay. No Diddy. And I really realized to myself, I don't Yo, really look care at Trey Rex. Look at Trey Rex. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna add Trey Yo, Trey Rex, you never been you never night. been like naked with with, with <laughs> Aiden in the, in the sauna? I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what I mean. Like I was just free. You know what I mean? I was free. I was in the sauna, shirt off. And we, me and Kami were sitting there, and I was telling him, I was like, yo, bro, like, I'm at the point of my life, I don't really need to take shit from anybody, bro. I have a really strong community who loves me, and I love them, and as long as I show my appreciation to, to them, they got me. And it's like, I have enough money now where I could say fuck you to anybody and anyone. So it's like, for me now, it's like, I just kind of want to do what I want to do and, and stand by who I want to stand by. And if you don't understand it, then you don't have to fuck with me. It's that simple. Uh, I have I have a lot of people who really fuck with me, and I have people that don't fuck with me. And it's like if you don't fuck with me, stay on that side. It's okay. I just have too much money to care or suck up to anybody. And I talked to Train about that last night too. You know, he he put some good good thoughts in my head about that as well. So, you know, you come to a point, man. I pray everyone gets it to where you can finally be your own man, your own boss, and you don't gotta suck up to nobody. And uh, when you get that, it's just it's not even on no ego shit. It's one of the best feelings ever because you could really be you. You got that fuck you money. You can say. Fuck you. You know, I, I I manifest that all you guys get, you know, you retire your parents and all that shit. And once you get a point in your life where you retire your parents and you did that and you did this, you're just really doing you. And that's the best feeling in the fucking world. I'm telling you. Hey, man, I hope all you receive it. Hey, Aiden, I, I've watched you kind of um, evolve as a person. I, I, I remember when I, number one, first of all, I, I'm, I think I first talked to you, you know, in the Discord call, which you were trolling. But... I, I've watched yeah, that was back. That was when I was nineteen when no. I first met you. Yeah, but, but but I've watched you evolve as a person, and there was a there was a time you were like you know very, like I remember the times when you used to ask me like yo act. Do you honestly think like even Drake knows me? Like you you remember those times? Yeah, yeah, I remember and, that. And, of course, and, yeah. And, and it was just like, it, it wasn't that you didn't know that you were doing some shit that was impactful on the streaming side or you, you weren't like, you know, huge, like no Diddy. Um, it, it was almost <sighs> like, it, it, it was kind of like validation. And a lot of times when we're trying to get to the point that we're trying to go, we seek validation, right? It's like, of course, I, I'm hoping I could be acknowledged by A, B or C. And I've watched you like gracefully now get to that point. That's why I think your community itself, they fuck with you so much and they don't want to see no one take advantage of you because you're not Aiden that that is just like wide eye and happy go lucky. You're like this brand that's doing amazing things and you've helped a lot of people, whether you brought them on your stream and given them prices, promotion, this and third, and people want to see you respected. Like people don't want to see you getting kicked around. People don't want to see you getting disrespected. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I've watched like even your audience and shit. I even watched Kai's audience. He went to a little skirmish recently. It's like they're so defensive of you guys because of they're not going to tolerate people just like taking advantage of you or just like playing with y'all, which is good. And I think you guys have grown up a bit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys have like evolved, which is dope. Yeah, yeah. I think the older, facts, yeah. the older you get, the mature you get, you realize. You know, because I was, you know, and the, the cool thing about growing up is your community grows up with you. I think nobody really speaks about that. Like, my community grows up with me. They evolve with me. Whenever, whatever we thought was funny a few years ago, we might be older now and we might adjust and not think that's funny anymore. And it's, you know, these guys are going to watch me hopefully one day have a family. Who knows? But my point is, it's like, you know, I used to get mad about parasocial people. And there's a difference between parasocial people and people who really, really just fuck with you and see relation in you. You know, even Andrew Tate said to me when, uh, you know, him and I kind of got a little argument about something that I didn't really see eye to eye with him on, uh, which I apologize to him about because uh, I was ignorant. But, you know, it's funny that when you look at things like this, it's like 
what about streamers is what some people like really can attach to us and it's because we're relatable some people might see something in me or humor whether it's humor whether it's something something and just latch on and attach that people don't really have with any other person in entertainment and that's probably the best thing i could ever say being a streamer gets you and you have your own community too academics you know you've been in the shit for fucking years and trainers you too i mean you know that bro like you're fucking the og of this twitch shit so it's yeah. like my thing is it's like you guys kind of already have that evolution where you guys go from here to here to here to here to here and you guys keep evolving and you just keep that core and there's nothing like that core you know truthfully the core is the greatest shit ever facts yeah no 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 100 percent um I, i'm you know it's interesting as you mentioned parasocial i, I feel like i've been at like you know uh interesting point with them too because i, I think there's a group of people who genuinely they like your content and they like you and they are so in tune that they're kind of in tune into even things that might go beyond the content personal life in the center and then also i'm like battling with certain people who just want to like they might just see you as like a circus animal honestly they're True. like yo you're here for our entertainment and we'll even delve into your personal life. Like, like I seen the whole thing when, when when you shut down, you know, like your community for a second on like Twitter. It was like, hey, listen, like I'm a, I'm a real. You can't go too crazy. You can't go too far, right? It's like you, you have to respect me a, a little bit. And it's kind of like that's the interesting thing that I think we all been kind of like dealing with, because you know all all of our communities, like your community is like fucking amazing, right? You know, yeah. like, train wrecks. Like your community is fucking amazing and. My community is amazing too, but it's like you also don't want it to be like too crazy, right? You don't you don't want it to be like at a point where like you 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 feel like a prisoner of um, everything you done created, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's the so. There's two communities you can have, right? There's one where you kind of set boundaries, right, and you kind of. Uh, you know, things are a little bit more tamed and there's just like a, you know, mutual love, right? But those people, there isn't going to be this crazy aggressive army, right? There's going to be a community that loves you, that fucks with you, that's going to defend you, but it's not going to be as crazy, right? I, I think what Aiden chose the, is the other community route, right? It's the one where you have a massive army. Sure, you have a core deep within it that fucks with you, that loves you, that wants to see the best for you, but... When you choose the army route, you're going to have, you know, you're going to see the uh, like duality of a community. You're going to see the negative and the positive a lot more. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think, you know, you kind of see that with Kai and Aiden, because there's just a larger amount of people in the community. And sure, the core fucks with them no matter what he does. But there is going to be, you know, the outsiders that are in that community that, you know, they're... I don't know how to say it. They're imposters, right? They're they're on they're, you know they're along for the ride, hoping that Aiden fails, but they're Im, they're impersonating a fan. Hey, bro, when I said I, when the, when they said I was going to retire, some people got happy as fuck. I'm here for another <laughs> few years. You guys got to deal with me. Hey, by the way, I was having this conversation. So I was on a podcast last night with like uh, Adam Twenty Two and yeah. like Trap Low Ross, and I was talking oh. about the dynamic of like Reddit, right? And um, m me personally. I don't get into my own Reddit, but I would read everyone else's Reddit, right? And the reason why I don't, and, and I use two examples, and I was just like, yeah. mostly, I think most Reddits, if you are if you tune into them, you know, number one, you know, us as creators, you have to remember that you're supposed to lead, and not that you lead and you don't take advice or you don't take, you know, feedback from people, but you can't follow what, the people who like you, like they came to you for a reason. You didn't come to them, right? And like with Reddit, for example, I gave an example, and I give an example to Adam last night. I was just like, I never go on my Reddit, right? So I went on it one time, and it was during this like really distressful time in my personal life. And con it was it was crazy, and it was it's going crazy on there. Everyone has all these think pieces. They're saying things that might not be true, but some of them there have these deep dives and deep takes. Some of them, some of them might be talking facts. And I was just like, well, 
maybe these are like your core fans. Until I realized, at least with mine, it's only mine, I think. I went back in, like, so last month, I had my biggest month on streaming. I've been streaming for over 10 years. I had my biggest month last Good shit, year. bro. Last month. And, 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 and I go into the Reddit during my biggest month, and it's crickets. <laughs> it's tumbleweeds. It was nothing saying... It was nothing reaffirming like, hey, we're doing good. It wasn't enough drama for them to like feed upon. And I, I sat back and thought about it and said, these motherfuckers are only here when it's destruction. Oh, okay, this isn't going right. Yes, we're here. And and and, and it kind of reaffirmed the reason why I don't kind of like look at that shit. You know what I mean? I tell a lot of creators, I said, you have to realize, you know, especially when you have vast audiences, Figure out the people who could check you. Like, because there, there's some of my audience that checks me. And, like, I literally read when they tell me, you're fucking up. You're getting mm -hmm. on focus. What the fuck are you doing? Stop oh, doing yeah. this. And then, you know, the ones who they'll act like they're doing that, but they're not really doing that. They just want to oh. see destruction. And, they're and, baiting, yeah. Yeah, and, and maybe there were fans at some point, but right now they want to see Aiden destroy. Or they, they, they want to see you retire, that they could be like, well, I, if you guys had listened to me from a long time ago, I had tell you that he had switched up on us and blah, blah, blah. And um, it's kind of interesting because I've been, like, trying to, like, read, like, your audience. Because for me, I get a lot of things from my audience, right? Like, you know, you know I, I'm, like, I use the stream and stuff, and I'm, like, you know, um, rap media. I read DMs all the time from people I've never like really interacted with, like just hidden DM requests. Like I'm, I'm in there right. all the time. Cause sometimes people tell you some value of information and it's hard to discern between a fan, someone who's a super fan, but they're like, they also want the best for you. And someone who's cosplaying as a super fan who only wants to see drama because you're their reality show now. Like gotcha. you, you're, you're their person who is, you know, the 24-7 news cycle reality show. And like, yo, who is train wrecks Dayton? Yo, what about his ex? <laughs> Whoa, yo, 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 did Aiden do this? Did he fuck this person over? And it's only for their enjoyment? If Aiden, if Aiden does some great shit, like, yo, he just fucking saved, like, somebody off a burning building. Like, fuck that. Let's talk about him fucking over his friend, right? And, I don't know, it's been, like, an interesting thing, kind of, like, me trying to figure out who's who. Oh, yeah, man. Why, well, Go ahead, real Go quick, ahead. that's why I think it's important. And, you know, I don't like using the word fan too much, mm -hmm. but, you know, j just to clarify, it's more of like a just, you know, person who likes you, who relates to you, right? Um, but to get back to what I was going to say, the point, or I think it's important to, I think a lot of streamers today, they really want to fill this role model role. But I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, I don't think any of us are fucking role models. I don't think any of us, like, every streamer I know, like behind the scenes, they are as imperfect as, you know, the viewers know they are, right? And the viewers know themselves to be, right? So these streamers that act like role models, like they breed those toxic viewers you're talking about, those ones that want to see destruction, drama, right? They breed them. Why? Because when people act perfect, when they act not human, that's when people start like behaviorally evolving into, well, I need to find something that makes them mm, like me, right? So it's those role model motherfuckers. It's those robotic PG-13 pussies who pretend to be perfect, who, by the way, by the way, are some of the nastiest motherfuckers. They're way, they're way nasty than the imperfect people, right? So it's like, I think the important part is for creators to be more honest and be more truthful of, you know, how imperfect they really are, the mistakes they make, that they, that, that they do make mistakes, that kind of shit, if you do that, I think you'll breed a healthy community, right? You'll create something that's real, that's going to have your back, and that's going to be there for you through thick and thin. So that's kind of like my advice. Like, fuck the role model shit. You know, streamers, you know, try to equate success, money, and viewership to intelligence. But I'm going to keep it a, like, I'm going to keep it a buck. A lot of the times, a lot of these streamers, they got lucky, right? True. Is there hard work involved? Yes. But a lot of it is luck for some of these people, right? Because a lot of them, if, if you look at them, they talk about, oh, drop out of high school, drop out of this, never worked. You know, none of them have been checked by reality, right? Yet they can sit there behind their computers and stay in this bubble of a reality they've created. 
And I think that's what's like, you know, kind of taking us to a world full of these absolute shithead motherfuckers. Does that make sense? No, it does. Am I just yapping here or is that no, no, does that no, make no, any no, sense? No, 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 it makes sense. No, 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 it, it absolutely does. And by the way, like, you know, even <laughs> recently, you know, I've realized that it's bred like a crowd of, of them want to be like, hey, like, you know, you'll have a part of your audience who be like, I want to show you that you're a hypocrite, which by the way, it's like, I'm like, you're watching me, but I'm human, which means I've said A and then did B. I've, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human person. Like I'm a human where I'm not always going to live by exactly what I say. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm hoping I'm not selling. Yeah. You know, I've always said as a creator, I never wanted to sell ideology. Right. And like, I always go back to like, you know, I was talking to my homies from like fresh and fit. I was like, they get at you, they get at you guys sometimes a lot because they feel like you're selling an ideology with lifestyle yeah. and now they expect you to live or be the perfect version of it which no one ever is that right you know that's why i never want to sell ideology like i'll even hear my own audience who they'll be like yo well you used to say this earlier and it'll be like kind of like seemingly ideology and, and like yo what you're doing different i'm like i'm like a i'm like a human bro like who's probably made mistakes and probably suffers from the same susceptible vi vices as y'all and you know we're just trying to all do do right you know what i mean so well i think aiden's one of the biggest underrated streamers he's obviously he gets a lot of credit i think he doesn't get the credit he deserves but i think he is one of the biggest creators of our generation because he puts it all out there raw right you see the mm -hmm. disgust disgusting sides of him you see the raw sides of him you see the stupid ass sides of him you see the smart sides of him you see all sides on stream there is no bullshit and you know hopefully we get to a stage in life or a stage of content creation where people start recognizing you know the respect that he deserves right like i truly believe that so that's all love bro i just want to make that clear damn train thank you bro i appreciate that that's all thank love bro yeah no, 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 hundred percent. No, yeah. Aiden gets a lot of a lot of flag, but also I don't think people sometimes realize what you probably also have to deal with. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, really, just streamers in general. And I say that with not trying to trivialize it on some, or not trivialize, but not trying to make it seem like you know us streamers got like some super hard job because it's kind of you know it's kind of dope. You know what I mean? We kind of get to sit yeah. here. You know, I got like four monitors in front of me. I'm like doing what I want. I'm in a nice air conditioned room. Like I, I get food down. Like it's it's pretty kind of cool. But it, you know, th th there is expectations and pressures and other things that kind of build up, and you kind of have to deal with those accordingly. 100%. That's how it is, man. And you know, it comes with a. You know, it doesn't even really come with a lot. It just comes with. How do I say this? A platform. You, you know, you have to also realize that, you know, it's so easy to, if you're yourself, if anybody's truly themselves, it's very easy to upset a mass audience, right? Oh, for sure. For sure. So, so it's like, if you want to be pitch perfect and not yourself and basically just try to like censor yourself, of course you can slow it down. But when you're you yeah. and you're raw, it's when it's best, man. That's, 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 that, that is the best thing you could do. For sure. I, I think the best way to, you know, kind of stay not a hypocrite or stay not, you know, just not get into that bullshit. Hey, listen, just be about it. That's it. Yeah. You know, follow through with action. Everyone, you know, everyone's full of words these days. No, I know. It's all about action, bro. You know, I, I've said so much in my fucking career, yapped and fucking made false promises, but you got to just do it, bro. Mm. You know, Alec, I, uh, you and I planned this stream out earlier today. I didn't even hype it up my stream because God forbid, you know, I did tell you what we were really going to do today and that got canceled. But that just goes to show you, bro, like when you no, we still got to run it, bro. We still got to do four before wagers. No, I'm down. But I was talking. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll just say four before wagers Chat. and what? Act solid. Call of Duty. We do COD. Act, and uh, by the way, Act, I need that 2K wager whenever you're ready, bro. I'll beat your ass in 2K. Uh, I ain't uh, stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I'll beat your ass Yo. in 2K. And I'm going to be honest with you, any of y'all want to smoke it in, in, like, I know Fortnite might be like a like a fossil at this point, but I give any of y'all smoking in Fortnite. That's a fact. 
No. <laughs> I for yeah, act. I do want to say act. So just so you could vouch, because I'm trying this new system. Where I don't really announce things. Yeah. Did I not text your phone that we were supposed to interview somebody today together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, what happened with that? Who? Me. Just say it. Uh, Devin Haney. I I had Devin Haney and Ryan chat. I was messing with both of them. They were both down, and you know, I guess it's just too soon. And I apologize. I tried. Who is that? Who, who's Devin Haney? <laughs> it's oh, a. a uh, it's basic. It's basically uh, because of what happened today. But basically, uh. You know, it's the it's a big boxing event taking place tomorrow. Oh, those are boxers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan and Haney. Oh, hey, wow. hey, hey, hold on. Just give me one second. I gotta open my door for somebody. Y'all keep going. <laughs> my bad, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Um. <coughs> yeah, I'm down to get us a wager, but we gotta play Monopoly too, bro. Wagers and Monopoly. There's no way, bro. You don't have the patience for Monopoly. Trust I do. Me. How no. many rounds? How many rounds do you guys do though? Brother, that's gonna take like two hours. It's not about rounds. It has to go till it ends. Oh yeah, sure. I forgot. Man, not, yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah, that's no just, way. If Felix wants to join, he's he's obviously uh, welcome to join. Um, but nah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can save an obligation. We need to run wagers too. We need to run wagers. Tomorrow we'll be able to do much gaming because I have some shit planned. But uh, uh, uh. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. So you can't stay up late tonight? No, no, I can have it late tonight, but tomorrow I'm just doing some IRL shit. Okay, cool. Yeah. I hope it doesn't I hope it goes. We've got to run wagers today, bro. Yo. I'm down, bro. You know I'm waiting. Yo. Hey Felix. Yo, you're mad, you're mad. I'm doing intro. I'm doing you like five minutes. Oh, okay. 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 Solid, okay. solid. Solid, man. Nice. Round two. Have... I Round two of wagers. I talked to uh Nick Merckx on the phone today. He was like, uh, yeah, bro, I see train and X going at it. He's like, I want it fires me up, bro. I'm ready. Yeah, uh, Nick was Bro, like, I wanna, "Now nah, I want to sit that motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to sit Nick Merckx down. You understand me, yo, Nick? If you see this, you're going to get sit down in your own video game, boy. You understand that? You're a dad now. You can't hang with us. You're a dad. You understand me? You're a dad. That's all I got to uh, say. Uh, I'm excited though to play with Nick. You know, you know me, bro. I've been watching, you know, Nick Merckx since Black Ops Three. So, big yeah. me. it's fucking almost ten years. I'm but listen, of- make sure they don't do. Listen, Aiden, don't let them bullshit. Okay, it's got to be Nick, Tim, Doc. And we got to find one more for them. We can't Wait, let them. Uh, your suspect is going to play too? Oh, for sure. No, I'm going to get Doc. It's, it's got to be Tim, Doc, and Nick. And we'll find them a fourth. We cannot let them bring these cracked out fucking Warzone players. Those motherfuckers are on like 45,000 milligrams of Adderall. And they probably got a Zen uh, 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 locked in. You understand? So we can't let them bring any of those can they, motherfuckers. Can they, can they bring Ninja? Does Ninja still game? I think so. We got. I mean, it's probably going to be Cloxy, but Cloxy's kind of a beast, low key. But yeah, well, you we know what? Prime. I'm down. Well, we got we got Prime, right? Yeah, I said no one using a Zen. He Prime is not <laughs> I'm key, bro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Trey, yeah. look, me, you, Combi, yeah. Cheezer, Prime, the dream team, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's, that's our right. team. Chad, that's our team. That's our team. So Nick's well, we... got to get it five. If five? Nick wants, what's up? It's four. He picks up four. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I love the chat. Look at them. Not cheesier. Oh, yeah. Need XQC. All right. So, I mean, chat, we can drop, you know, Convy or Cheezer <laughs> for Felix. We need cheese. Well, so, I, was uh, thinking, I was thinking we're going to do a, uh, like, three teams or four teams. Oh, like a tournament? Yeah. So, like, X, X, X has his boys from yesterday, right? We have our team. Nick has his team. And I, get, I guarantee you we can get Eddie to put, like, 100K on the fucking uh, thing. You know how crazy that would be? Dude, that's a genius idea. Bro, 100, Aiden Ross, 100K tourney right there. You know what? Train and Aiden. Let's, you know, Aiden and Train. We'll, we'll throw that in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, Train, look at you cook up. You still got it in you, old head. Yeah, I still got it in me, boy. Okay, let's get academics to get a team. I'm down, bro. Hey, now I know how he is, though, bro. He, he go try to get some cheaters. We got to know who they are. I, I'm just being real. Oh, for sure. Now, nah, yeah, I know you, bro. I know you can hear me. I know you, bro. Fuck no. Or no, your age. Your age could also do it too. Yeah, your age. Your age, Bruce could be on the team. Your age, Bruce. <laughs> no. Nah, uh, are they cool again? I, I saw them. I saw a clip. I hope so. I hope so because I, I like them both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bro. If we're going to do that, can we get Duke on the team? I love Duke. Yo, Duke, if you see this, you're my boy. You like that one clip of him, right? The, uh, the one. No, nah, bro. Just, uh, him and I are both unks, you know? We're true, both- true. You know, like, it's like he's the only other, you know? Yeah, true. That's my brother. 
Whoa. Okay. Yeah, and I, and I mean that with an A. Hey, what's up, Ak? What up? What you doing? Who's at your crib? Security, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, who walked in the crib? Security. Hey, Ak, I got XQC who's going to join in Join in like three minutes. Oh, that's my boy. Yeah, he's going to join up a little bit. We'll talk some streaming shit. Uh, Ak. What up? You know I love Rumble, and I really do respect Chris from Rumble. You know, I I, yeah, I like that guy. Business, He's a good bro. dude. I can tell you about talk, you trying to talk business. Come on, man. No, I love Chris. I think academics, what you've been doing, I've been seeing you live on X, Rumble, YouTube, Twitch. Academics, you're everywhere. Why can't one more platform hurt? Come to kick for a little bit. You just come in. You do your thing on here. You go to Rumble. You go to Twitch. Dude, you're like a fucking... You know you are? You're getting passed around. You know what I mean? You're, no, you're, you're, no, you're no, like no, a whore. No. You're a whore for streamer platforms. No, 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 no. I just want to say... The reason why I sat with Donald Trump Jr. It's because of Chris and Rumble. I know. It's because of Chris. They, they're making moves. They're trying to, <clears throat> you know, further anything that I'm interested in. They're not trying to push nothing. And, and, and that's one thing I, I definitely you, want to say to my audience. Nobody could tell me to do anything I don't want to do. They they offer me opportunities like, shit, even going to like Vegas or the, like Power Slab events. Hey, you want to go to blah, blah, blah? XQC, <laughs> what's up, my boy? What's up, yo? How's it going, brother? Yo. Hey, Felix, you're down to play some COD a bit, yeah? Uh, what time? I mean, whenever. I you just woke up? Yeah, yeah. Wait, you just... Wait, what are you... Where the fuck are you at that you just woke up right now? He's in Florida. Uh, I'm in Thailand. It's the gaming times. Act, you're not a, just... you act. That's how I know you're not a real gamer if you don't wake up yeah, late. Yeah, bro. Like, straight if, up, if, act. If, you, if you don't sleep all day and wake up at night, you're crazy. Bro, you're waking up at 2 a.m.? Yeah. That's about um, right. Yeah, I woke up at like uh, 11.30. Yeah. Dude, I'm not even joking. I like Loki. You know why I respect that X? Because the chat is the best around this time. Yeah, because there's no like fucking Zoomers that are like... <laughs> like they did not like no, that. No, literally. This is the greatest chat at 2 a.m. to like 5, 6 a.m. is the best. Nighttime chat. is cozy. Wait, wait, wait. So none of y'all play like Fortnite or whatever. So I got to get like Call of Duty to be, be in the crowd? Yeah, you got to start playing Kyle to hang out with us. Wait, wait, Ak, you don't play COD? Bro, I play Fortnite still, bro. I'm like, that's crazy, light. bro. You're breaking a lot of stereotypes with that. Damn. <laughs> bro, <laughs> yo, yo, I'm, <laughs> nah, he's getting comfortable. Yo, <laughs> I'm nice as fucking Fortnite, man. I'm telling you, bro. Mm. Yeah, but hey. <clears throat> so, no, go ahead, Ak. Go ahead. Say it. Fortnite's not the same anymore. It's not, it's not the same vibe anymore. That's it's changed. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Holy oh, It's still fun. Hey, did you see uh the Coachella performance Uzi did? Yo, they, they 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 knocked me off of um my main YouTube. They knocked me off of that bitch because I you watched... reacted to it. Yo, first of all, I don't know what agreement they have with YouTube. I watched it for three minutes, and they literally said your account is suspended. It's... Oh yeah, they they have um I think they use a system that like um since since I'm I'm pretty sure, like they're part of the fucking whatever the fuck. They have the thing that detects your shit, and it, it's automatic takedown. Yeah, no, well, here's the thing: like, I, I know, I know, content ID type shit. It's just that, yeah, yeah. This is live. Way. Like, you don't know what what the person's gonna do. Like, you know what I mean? How the hell did yeah. they detect it three minutes in? Whatever the case is, you know, I, I hit up a YouTube rep. Hopefully, they could um get it back because y'all ain't gonna lie. This is the era of rap beef, and 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 I need to be there to fucking dictate and um commentate about everything. What did you think about Uzi's performance? Yeah, but it's not transformative enough for them that they they don't go for it, you know? The, like true. The, the, so so that's the point I'm gonna I'm, for them for them. No, that's the point I'm, I'm I'm you know I'm hitting the rep with. But I think they have a huge deal with YouTube where they're like, fuck transformative like fair use yeah. shit. <laughs> You're just like no one streams this. Like it's on here, but ev all the views have to come from here. Um, yeah, no, I, I watched a little bit of Uzi's performance. Bro, oh my God, yo, Uzi, bro, bro, you like, you like, you like when he did this? Uh, no, hold on, oh, you like stop. that? Stop. <laughs> hey, 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 yo, yo. First of all, I've met Uzi. I know he's a regular person. By the way, just for the record, I don't think Uzi's homosexual or whatever. He's not. I don't even think he's curious. I'm gonna tell you where this came from. And I got a theory. Okay, call me cynical, but what it is, what it is. I think Uzi was sitting back watching Cardi wearing that thong, and he said, "What?" This motherfucker is trying to out gay me. He sees, he sees Cardi wear the thong. What? Then, 
he sees his fellow brother. You got to remember, Philly is the city of brotherly love. No Diddy. Then he sees Meek Mill at the freak-offs with Diddy. Busting it wide open, screaming to the rock, get up! He's seen all the shit, zesty! And he's like, what? Are they trying to out-gay me? And Bro. my brother walked out there yeah. with a Birkin and a crop top, and I'm not going to lie to you, I swear, I love Uzi so much, I don't even think if I interviewed him today, I could ask him about the belly ring. Bro, he had a belly ring in, bro. Okay, no. that's not bad. That's not bad. What? Yo, Why stop not? it. Um, belly not? ring? Wait, all right. Act. Act. Okay, can I just say Yo, one thing? Yo, no, stop. No, 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 no. I don't no. want to get blamed. No, no, no. I want to hear from Train Rex and XQC yes. on this. Belly yeah, ring. Is this, is this, Too is this far away. The green tea shit? Do you have it? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, bro. bro I this is such a good fucking bro, podcast. I went on a date one time with this fucking girl, and like, we're going to the beach, and she gives me this fucking thing. And I took a, I took a, a sip and I almost fucking puked on her. It's fucking oh, disgusting. Oh, I hate that shit. The baba shit with uh, the black balls. No, not yeah. boba, bro. It's just, okay. it just, it's, it's unsweetened green tea and oolong Nasty. tea. At least get the sweet one. Let me go back to that before I lose train of thought. Academics, and I don't want to take the blame for this because that is not me. I was with Uzi two days ago in the studio. Ah. Uh, Do you no, have a crop no, no, top no. on? No, he was dressed normal as fuck. You hey, know Uzi. Uh, Okay, you, you, you asked me what was it? What, okay, what okay. do you think about the what? About the what? About, about the belly ring? Yeah, yeah the, the belly button ring. Okay, okay, listen. The, I, I guess it's like different like culture vibe, whatever. But in my opinion, okay, like it's things are only like gay when they're gay. When it comes to fashion, you kind of do whatever you want, right? It doesn't really give you like a lot of like gay vibes unless it's like really, really gay, right? So... I think people like exploring some areas of fashion and looks. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool, and they try to like, um, make, let's say like maybe break stereotypes or like explore some areas that are whatever. And it, sometimes you get really positives out of that because maybe it's not the belly button thing, but something else will sprout from that, and it's kind of cool, or whatever, right? So it's just it's just my take. I think that the, the whole the whole gay thing is like whatever. So, X, what was your thoughts when Playboy Cardi had on a fishnet? Um, I mean, people have worn for fishnets for like decades now, so I don't like it. Yo, I mean, I, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. no, eight, wait. Eight, eight, eight. no, 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 hold on, listen, I love Uzi, I love the guy, he was, he's super down to earth, super chill, you know, as you know, I've, you know, I've, I've spoken to him, you know, multiple times, really good guy, I like him a lot, but I cannot let that cloud my judgment, okay, like, belly button ring, I'm with Ak on this, belly button ring, Oh, yeah, in my fun. opinion, is a little wild. That's a yeah, little yeah. wild, from, oh, in yeah, my for opinion. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, I, I, well I, what do you... XQC, he wore a fishnet. What was your thoughts on the fishnet thong? That's fine. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, no, XQC, come on, dude. Yo, you know, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. The fishnet wait. is chill, but the tongue is kind of hardcore for sure. Um, <laughs> nah. Def, definitely it, hardcore. Felix trolling with that one. I know you don't think. I, I mean, Felix... No, 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 the fishnets are fine. The... the, the Fishes have been in, in part of high fashion for males for like uh, a, more than a decade now. You see a lot, a lot of even some of the big uh, big designers they do include a, a fishnet or two every every collection. Uh, oh, for, what was it? What was it that threw you off though? The, the tongue was hard. That's just too hardcore. Hey, brother. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> like, oh, could shit, I just give brother. some context to all this fucker y'all are talking about? So, so the alleged thong that that um um Cardi was wearing apparently wasn't a thong. It was like a onesie. It was like a bodysuit. Let me just hold on. Let me Doesn't just give matter. some context. We have to graphically, we have to graphically describe it. That when you give your opinion, we know what we're talking about. It's one of them joints that you got to button up, like, but you got to like probably lift your balls up in your dick, and you got to button up right be beneath your gooch. This is meant for females, my brother. So if you're telling me a straight man is lifting his leg up and he's like button up this like thing and that's why it looks like a thong, are we trying to say like cohesively that this hmm. is bad shit? Like like you gotta tuck your balls and your dick to get the, the mm. to, to hit the button on the joint. Like come okay, on. Okay, okay. Here's my take about this. I think the method is irrelevant, right? I think, um, especially in fashion, it's the final looks that matter, right? Because right now, let's say I have sleeves like this or whatever, right? But, oh, guys, actually, you guys, I tricked you guys. I was wearing a dress to make this look like this right now. Like, I'm wearing a dress right now. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, does it? What the right? fuck? Wait, so that's a dress? If it looks like a tongue, right? Well, for people, it's just a tongue. 
I don't give a fuck if it's a onesie, a twosie, it's a fucking tri-zip, or the fuck. I don't give a fuck. It looks like a fucking tongue. That's all that matters. Who cares how you put it on? There? Right? It and looks if it looks a certain way, it is. It is what it is. But you know what I mean. My whole, my whole career, I came up off sauce joke rappers. I'm out of this one. I agree with you. I'm with you. I think it's. A wait, wait. Bad. What did you say, Aiden? Say that again. I said my entire career, I came up off of you know sauce jokes with rappers and shit. Act. You know me. I still think it's overboard. I'm with you on this one. Wait, you're with who? Academics. It's too far. No, no. Hey, hey, hey listen, listen, listen. With hmm. me, you know, first of all, like you know. In hip hop, I I've been hearing this excuse really recently. They're like, yo, hey, we're artists, we're expressing ourselves. So what if we were a thong? It's expression. This is art. And I'm like, if you're an artist, but you're known and renowned for making music, why don't whatever feeling that your thong would would, would express, why don't you express it there? You want to wear a thong because you want to feel something beneath you. Like, like, okay. like, like you want to feel like you have a permanent wedgie, bro. I, 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 I got you on this one. That right. one you're wrong about. Okay. Go ahead. Ex expression um, with visuals is very important, right? The aesthetics of music, what the music looks like. Even when the music sounds like something, music, the music always has an aesthetic. It looks like something, right? And when you dress a certain way, right? It's part of the cohesive message you're sending through the music or, or as you walk around, it's who you are, right? And these people are more than just their music, I think. They are their looks too. I think that matters as well, right? Agree or not? No, no I, I get you, but, 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 but we talking about a thong. Like, we, we, you know, we, we talking about some of that, like, put like this, as men, mm. if, 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 if you could feel comfortable with, like, a string or something that is piercing b between your buttocks right right where your asshole is at and is squeezing or like i gotta be vivid because like everybody's acting like hmm. this is just like regular shit hey listen put it like this anybody hey, you know we, we got younger kids in here yo y'all know when y'all been horny in class and y'all got certain type of jeans on or whatever and it, it's like you're not trying to have your boner show in class so you almost trying to if you're a guy, you're trying to maneuver a little bit away. You tuck it up your fucking belt, bro. Uh, well, no, I don't know about it. But, but here's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, as right. men, you, you tuck it up on the waistline, on, on the waistband. Okay. Yeah, as men, like <laughs> we know the equipment we got. As men, we know the equipment we got. So we have to kind of move around accordingly. If you got on a ones, yo, I love girls in bodysuits. Oh, my God. So great. You know what I mean? It's so beautiful yeah. even when they take it off. But here's the thing. They got to go, and when, when they're unbuttoning that junk, that's why we think what, what, what Playboy Cardi has on is like, if he was a woman, like, I'm, I'm, I'll be wondering if some of these rappers are trans. Like, you don't have a boss? Like, dog, no, like, like, your yeah, sperm yeah, yeah, count would be zero. Like the feeling of the balls getting handled by the, by the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, XQC, stop trolling me. I'm going to see you at Red Rocket, and I'm not going to be that happy with you. Stop playing with me. Tell my handle by the fabric. What are you talking about? What the fuck okay. are you talking about? Okay, 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 handle okay. by then, the then, fabric. Okay, 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 okay. Then you're you're against um, briefs. Uh, I'm against briefs. I'm, I'm a big anti-briefs guy. No, no, no. You know but, briefs but even briefs is meant for the shit. Briefs suck on your balls. They like, do. It's disgusting. Yo, they do act. That's true. Aiden, could, you, could I send you the link of what he was wearing? You yeah. can't compare me, this to Breeze. Let me see. I'll pull it up right now. Let me, let me see. I'll pull it up right now. Okay. I let me feel like, hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to say something. Briefs. Huh, type in Rick time. Owens bodysuit. Rick Owens bodysuit. The first what thing that it? comes up. Bro, bro, bro. To tell me that briefs don't fucking suck up on you. Like, you know what that's what he wore, dude. Bro. Like, like dude. Bro. <laughs> Aiden, pull it up. Think, like, dude, 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 dude. Like, holy shit, Act, this is not what he was No, 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 it's not that. It's not, right. it's not, it's not, Maybe you're you right. Maybe you're right. Oh, wait. Which one, Act? Which uh, one? All right, go back. Go back. No, go all the way up. Oh, uh, no, it's the third one. It's the third one. Third one on the first line. Third one. Okay, this, this. Okay, let me see. Show me. Link it. Link it. I want to see it. Yes. There you go. Link it. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is what Cardi wore. No, 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 no. Link it. That's, that's when it's not pinned. That's what it's not like. You know it? Oh, that's what it's supposed to be? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, but he had it tucked in. Aiden, Aiden, link it. Copy and paste link in group chat. In group chat, yeah. 
I'm just gonna just put it in uh, my chat. Is that cool? You click. Yeah, on yeah, it? I got it. Yeah, I yeah, go bro, bro. I mean, I look at it on Google though. Like, yo, XQC is trolling us. No, no, he said he like he said it's good when your balls is being handled by the fabric. Stop it. No, 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 no. I said I said maybe it's what they like it. Oh, so we talked it. X, I linked it. Regardless, guys. Speaking of, you know, bro, so bro, that that wait, hold on. That still sucks on your junk though. Like, all right, that, we, that, that snatches your package, is it not? Guys, I'm not defending Uzi, but I am. I was just with him two days ago. Listen, what I'm about to say, please. I was in the studio with Uzi. He wanted me to go to Coachella with him. I said, I'll go to Coachella with you, perform, buy it. Problem was, I've been in six different states in two weeks. I was mentally drained. I fuck with Uzi. He's a real dude. We have real good combos. Act, I'm sure he, he, yes. he listened. Yes. yes. No, I agree with that. I agree and with train that. you too. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. I love Uzi. Uzi had, he was watching performances. I don't want to say who, I don't want to leak which artists. He was watching other artists' performances. Um, legends. I'm talking about legend performances. Um, I'm talking about like past our time, right? And you know, act. I want to say it's like that's what I feel like Uzi gets the inspiration from. Uzi's a rock star. I hate, I, I hate that reasoning. Hey, I'm a rock star, so I have to be feminine. Hmm. I need to paint my okay. nails. I need to rock thongs. I need oh, to have a G-string on. I need to have a bra on. Why are oh. rock stars wearing crop tops? Why does Wait, hold on. Why does being a okay. rock star mean mm -hmm. you have a belly button uh, piercing? Okay, Can we question, just okay. have a conversation about this, please? Okay, what if it was all true and they were all like a little gay and they were all doing this gay shit because they're a lot, all, all a little gay? Then what? Yo, yo. Oh, I'm on. asking, well, then what? What's, what's the next move? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, if he's gay, it's fine. I don't care. I, I don't care if he's gay. What I'm saying is that I've I've met the real person. I've met the the guy who's Saimir Woods. This is not what I've seen. Here's what I'm trying to say. You have to pull up the picture of Uzi tonight. He has a Birkin that's hanging on his hand like this. He has his belly button sticking out with a fucking belly button ring. He's walking zesty as a motherfucker. Yeah, like brother. Like I think. Come come on. I, I really think. Everybody, yo, you see how Rick yo, Ross is expanding your fan base, brother. If you think about it, dude, he's getting, he's getting more, more, more gays into this, this whole realm, more fans, more money for everybody else. No, but X, I, mean, I, think, I think thanking think, the man. You no, no, but, thanking X, the man. No, but X, I think what Axe is saying is because I've talked to Uzi too, you know what I mean? Like outside of, you know, performance where he's not, it's like, he's a real, like, I fuck with Uzi. Like he took me to, yo, Ax, you know, he took me to Philly. Like he took me like in the streets of Philadelphia for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And like I really saw where he was from, so I feel what I, I get what you, exactly what you're saying, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. When I'm watching some of this, I'm just like I'm, I'm like taken aback. And okay, but why? I want to know the nature of your behavior. I want to know the nature of your of, of how are you thinking back and why? Okay, All right. can we explore that? I want to know. Okay, so uh, let let me use you. Yeah. XQC, I've met you in real life. Okay. Yep. If I met you in mm -hmm. real life, and I and, and and say I've watched you on stream too, and I yep. saw you on stream to be a, you're doing flamboyant things, blah 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 blah. I meet you yep. in real life, and you're a very regular human being who actually doesn't do that at all. I would probably yep. say to you, why do you do that? Because now I'm thinking you're doing that because of entertainment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because yep. it, now if I met you. And the same person you're purporting to be either online, and I'm not saying you have to be exactly who you are in your in your media, or whatever, but it's like, my brother, this is extreme. I met a yeah. very regular person. I didn't meet a guy in a crop top holding a Birkin bag looking like he was saucy Santana. Okay, fair enough. Okay, uh, good. So that, that that's a good point. Okay, then I want you to um, think about moments where you were taken aback, but it wasn't in a gay way. It was another way, right? But you were as taken aback by that, but you didn't bring it up as a concern. And what 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 that is is probably let's say Flip or Cardi. One of these times where like um, you met him probably or you saw him and he's very normal and chill. And then he goes on stream wearing a mask and he goes, he's all mysterious and shit like that. We were all taken aback by that. I mean, I know Aiden was right, but that wasn't in a gay way, right? But you were as taken aback, and that wasn't okay. really a problem then. But why why is it a problem now? Now that it's more taken aback in a gay way. Like, why is the no, gay it, one it, out it, of... 
No, but why is it off limits? Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. It was still a problem though back then for me too. Like my personal experience with Cardi, that's why. But right. you you answer that. Hey, XQC, I'm glad you're doing this. You're trying to get your little therapist on. I see you with a little fake notepad. I love it. You're my guy. Bro. You're my boy. It's so good. I'm going to answer this question, and then you can Go keep ahead. jotting down notes. Check this out. I'll tell you why I'm a little bit taken aback, right? Go ahead. Um, so you're right. You're, you're saying it, if he has a mask on, you're not. What I understand that artists do is that they want to create mystique. They want to yep. create an air of, hey, I am not the normal guy. This is why I'm great. This is why you all follow me. I don't take a shit and it stinks. I don't put my pants on one foot at a time. I'm this guy. Like most people actually, you know why there's half a million people yep. watching watching Aiden stream? Because they don't know what Cardi does. They actually believe like this is a guy who probably lives in a bat cave. They don't think he's a regular human being, right? So that intrigue among uh, th th that he's created with Mystique has worked. It's, it's, it's an aesthetic. I, I, it's, who it's created a, who created the Mystique aesthetic? In my opinion, oh. it was yay. It was yay, right? <laughs> I'm, uh, no, 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 no. There's many other. No, people. no, no. I mean, I mean. Well, that shit goes. That shit goes back like almost more than a hundred years old. Like it's like. Oh, I do oh, actually oh, see what that's. Oh, this, oh. It, this is something that the humans <laughs> do in a creative way. Okay. Oh. Now, now, as you see, th this is what I'll say: is that okay? One thing oh, is MJ. one thing is creating mystique. The other thing is now trying to create mystique by misleading and also trying to follow an agenda by trying to act like you're weird uh, i don't penalize that as much because that's not an agenda that's just trying to act like you're not the normal human being by trying to act like you're homosexual when you're clearly not again if these individuals were homosexual good it wouldn't be a problem these guys okay. are not gay Okay. Okay, no, okay, no, 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 okay, uh, hey, and I'm gonna no, bring that back a little bit. Go ahead, continue. Cardi, I, I, uh, I've heard bisexual stuff, but but Uzi's not gay. Uzi's not gay. He has a public girlfriend that he loves. So when I see him teetering on the line of, "Hey, I am the zesty guy who might be gay," I'm like, you could create mystique without playing into that, and that that actually. It makes me wonder that you don't know the power of you doing it because there's many different agendas. Like right now, we're in the time, and uh, I know I said live on Twitch, but like the trans agenda is existing, where it's like <laughs> no, there's an agenda where there is there there basically is, hey, we should have all people thinking and making these decisions about their gender. And it's a bigger situation than it really is. Not no disrespect to them and not trivializing their issue. But when you see Uzi play into it, it's like, you know you're serving another agenda with your attempt to create mystique. Because, again, my base argument is that no matter what, these guys are trying to create mystique. Go ahead, brother. Okay. So, so something I want to explore, right, is um, a, a lot of people sometimes people will present a certain idea or whatever, right? And then they'll have a reaction, right? But whenever it's either gay or trans, now it's too far. Now it's out of control, right? And they create mystique now for more than, I think, what was it, like five plus years? The aesthetic has been the David Bushing is satanic, right? It's been happening a lot. Demonic, satanic, um, um, all of that, right? And people weren't too crazy about that, right? But now, now that they're presenting like this, this more um, effeminate, maybe a zesty one, Oh no, 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 no. Whoa, that's gay. That's way out of line. So how is it too far out of line with the gay stuff, but not with the sat sat satanic stuff? Even though they're not satanic. Do you know these guys that are these guys really satanic? Do they do rituals? Do they go to the satanic church? I don't think they do, right? The same way that they present a gay idea, but are they gay? No. So why is it so bad when they do the gay stuff, but not, not with the satanic stuff? Hmm. I missed a piece of what you said, but you no, are you're, you're, a point. Okay. So what I was saying is that um, um, the mystique they're trying, to, they're trying to create is like portraying something that they're not, right? Okay. So like, like you say, you met him, he's not gay, he has a girlfriend, but he portrays a gay idea or portrays a gay a, a profile, right? Good. And that Good. you think is, is a problem. And I, I'm not going to say this, whether it's a problem or not. Good. But um, then that's too far. People have been saying that's too zesty or that's, that's an agenda, right? 
But what happens um, with the aesthetic of like say, say, Satanism or whatever, or being Satanic or demonic? They've been doing for like five plus years now. No. Right? That wasn't too big of a problem, was it? No, 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 right? no. Thank you for restating that because I agree with that too. I do okay. believe when, you know, for example, when I sat with Uzi in the studio, you know, one of the first things I asked him because there's a very viral clip of him saying, hey, he's telling his audience, hey, listen, if I'm glad y'all all listen to me. We're all going to hell. And he's purported very div uh you know, little Uzi Vert, he's played upon that by saying Lucifer. And he's played upon those devilish thoughts as well. And I do think that's a problem too. This isn't stemming from a place of homophobia. No, exactly. This well, is, I'm, trying to, I'm, the, the, I'm trying to profile. Um, or I'm trying to. No, uh, I'm not accusing of, of you saying that. But but but. Oh, no, yeah. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm against that too. Okay, can I say one thing, please? Go okay. ahead, Mister Mister Ross. As you see, has and I, I have. I'm gonna chat, show the picture of me too. Look at my stream real quick, academics. This is. I'm gonna pull up Martin too. Actually, you don't think okay. like I'm just trying to sell you out. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I did this when I was in eighth grade. I had to do it too. X, obviously, they sent me a picture of you dressed up like this. So if you go to my stream academics, you saw it? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's how I was talking. You saw that? Yeah. <laughs> did you see it? Bro, pull up Felicia. Wait, wait, wait. Pull, up, pull up again, pull up again, pull up again. <laughs> oh, can I, get the, can I get it again, please? Give me a second here. One second, Ack. I'm going to show mine too. I need the community to find Keep mine your hands too. above your head, uh, Ack. What? When he shows this picture. Oh, here, act, act. Look at my, look at my stream. Look at my stream. Look at my stream. You might have to do the, the fucking tuck, the the pants tuck. What the fuck? Who's that? That's XQC. X. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, all right. So act, I've done it too. I've dressed as a girl for my school play. I was Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. Me and XQC, we're not gay. Wait, Juliet was the only role you could get. <laughs> I, I, I volunteered. I, I mean, I, I for extra credit. Why are you, bro? Point is this: I'm not gay, and XQC's not gay. We've yeah, also, we've, yo, I'm gonna keep it so, a be with you as the only black man in this call. I'm, I'm gonna say this because I, I just sat with Adam Twenty Two yesterday, and I said, "Man, y'all got some great white privilege because y'all could bend and bend the the boundaries of being heterosexual." And I and like like we're having a conversation about uh, the thoughts of. Having somebody else having sex with like your significant other, and obviously Adam has done that. Oh, but, but, well, we would never do that. That's, that's, just, that's, that's out of control. That's out of control. That's not a no, 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 no. I've came that's, up with a theory. I think. Shit like I, yeah, I, we don't do that. Sneeko's black, and Sneeko did it. No, no, no. Sneeko's not really black. We got to really. Yes. No, his twenty-three and me hasn't came back yet. Yo, don't put him on us. Bro, bro <laughs> said Sneeko does not represent us. Yo, Sneeko yo, is black. I'm working on a theory. Yo, yo, I'm working on a theory that cuckism is a natural white man sport. No, no, no. Don't I'm serious. That. You can't say that. That's not come yo, on. Yo, yo, by the way, I'm trying to get the feds to send me a sample, no Diddy, off Diddy. Uh, you uh, you Diddy. know why? Because Diddy allegedly was into that jerking off in a corner while his girl was getting fucked. That's not a black man thing. That's a cuck thing. It's a very cuck Okay, I'll explain. Act, that's just like saying some dumb, ignorant shit like, oh, all oh, black people steal. Like, oh, Act, you're the only black person in here, you steal. <laughs> Come on, it's the same shit. You can't say Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. It's a stereotype. There's going to be you a sound. Yo. Aiden just says, black people steal. Yo, yo. <laughs> no, 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 Act, come on. But here's my boy, academics. Cuckism is not just a race thing. You can't say that. Now, academics, I, I will tell you stories, locker rooms, right? Even black teams, black high schools and white high schools, there's still locker room shit that goes on in the locker rooms. Tell me more. Academics, so you never went to school uh, with people who are black that never did nothing weird in the locker room? Of course. It happens to black, white, all races. It's not okay, a race thing. I'll be honest. So... um. I came over here in middle school, so I was, I was really adjusting to culture. I was like, I, I, I was born in Jamaica, a, a, a society oh, that previously oh. was known for a lot of homophobia. So like, I I was very, if I even saw hints of that, I was very, I, I was up and protesting. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It, it took- and never mind, me, yeah. It, it took it's for me to get to you. college to be able to be like, hey, you know what, you know, I'm, I'm not, on some when in Rome, do what the Romans do. But 
you need to be tolerant. And then, you know, I, I learned a lot about myself and I grew as a man. But uh, so you're saying you used to play gay games in the locker room. That's what you're telling me. I mean, dude, it's not gay games, but like, you know, I, there would it be someone around high school, you know, with his dick out, what, whipping it around and smacking us like, hold on, stop. Whoa, whoa. okay. <laughs> no, don't do that. We hey, did not do that. I did not do hey, boy. Hey, hey, you dressed up as a fucking girl. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, how did you see? Stop. Bro, you're not going to send this on me. If you play slapping it. Your if boys, you, you left the room. If you played a high school sport before, you've seen some crazy shit in the locker room, and that's facts. And anyone that's actually, and I rode the bench, and I'm still telling you, I saw some crazy shit in the locker room. You see it? It's not a race, um, limited thing. If you played any type of sport in high school or even college, okay, you've seen you've seen. So, so it's not racial, but it's when not. it comes back, I have a point about this. Um, that I want to make it. What? Uh, yo, ah, ack, ack, come back, bro. Act, come back, bro. Yo, we stopped the cuck slapping thing, bro. I swear. Also, Will Smith is a fucking cuck, Act. Yeah, yeah Will Smith's He's husband. Black. He He's lost black. It. Like academics, I'm not <laughs> hearing this gray shit, bro. I, I don't even know why race is a thing in with when it comes to things. That's so stupid. Like, uh, where the fuck did he go and now train? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Yo, man? yo, 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 AK, come back, bro. So There's one thing I want to bring up is that um I think that the black community definitely self-regulates and um, be careful. Way, 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 way more. No, no. Um, so you know, like I, I feel like um, so what, what I see, I see at least I see on the internet, whatever, right? There's a lot more like, oh, dude, like s stop acting white or stop doing this to each other, right? Much right. more. Like people do that um, with white people. White people don't don't go on and say, oh, dude, like like stop act, stop acting black or whatever. But like, people, it, it's not as common. Right. So when it comes down to like homophobia and, and gay stuff, I feel like they like self-regulate whatever you think it's uh, uh, appropriate or not. The gay stuff way more and they're way more like um, aggressive with how they do that compared to my opinion. Um, white people. It's just it's just what it is. It's just from what I see. And maybe I'm wrong about that. I'll, I'll ask AK. Yeah, ask AK. Ask AK. Go ahead. No, no it, it seems to be. It, it does seem to be a okay. Uh, wait, okay, real quick, real quick. It does seem to be like a like for example, right? Actually, you know what? AK, you answer first, and I'll give you my take. Okay, okay. AK, did, did you hear what I said, or did you not hear? No, no. Uh, say it again. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Something I've noticed is um, the it seems like the uh, black culture or black communities they self regulate a lot more, and they hold each other like accountable and and, and call each other out uh, a lot more um, than why people do right when it comes down to uh, uh behaviors and also um homophobic be uh, uh fucking uh gay behaviors right so it seems like they're more aggressive with each other right like, like oh dude you're acting gay or being zesty or whatever yes then the white people do it like a lot lot more yeah and yes it's, it's, I, I, i'll try to offer an explanation for that um i i believe what's ingrained in the culture and also you know for, for, for like black yes. people or african americans is that we've been almost indoctrinated to believe that an, um, one of the ways that we were attacked were, was that the black male was such a dominant figure just in society. The yeah. way to really attack that, the, the, that, um, that group of people is to get the black males more docile, is to emasculate them. And um, yeah, so we're very sensitive towards Hey, you know, like losing example, that image, yeah, eroding yeah. that that standard. No, of course. Like for example, in, in our communities, like Cat Williams went on Shay Shay Club Shay Shay, and he was just like, "Yo, these comedians have to wear dresses as black men," and, and that's seen as a thing because it's seen as a sign of emasculation. Now, granted, has comedians like whether black, white, Indian, Asian, whatever, have they taken on different roles and wore costumes or even wore in dresses over time? Yes. But it is a sensitive and sore spot when it comes to um, black people because we are looking at that to say, is is this like a method of trying to emasculate us and and make us soft and kind of like you know yeah yeah understood understood it but I feel like with this with if that was the narrative right um, the white people are imagining themselves at a much higher pace and a much much higher rate density than white people let's let's be honest. Um, uh, I mean, it feels to me 
like like white people, right? Do the the whole the whole uh, zesty dress thing. I mean, way more, right? And exploring these areas a lot more. But it seems like when black people do it, they they really go against it like really hard. And they're like, oh my god, why is this guy doing this? Why is he so zesty? Why is he guy so gay? And he's like, okay, I think everybody's exploring more and being more it's, out there. And it's just like a an overall state of things. I think it's more I, like a I, rap I, culture I, thing I, at this point. I, I, I'll tr I'll try to explain a little bit more of that because it's not only black people. It, it, it's it's when you're a minority, you, you see the majority gets to have gets to not move on groupthink and gets to not be, you know, almost like uh, um, profiled in, in, in a sense. For example, you know the majority of of you know any racial you know makeup in the United States is is is, is white people, right? If yeah. one white guy says, "Okay, I like my girl being fucked." And he's a cuck. We don't like. We're not gonna say all white people. I don't have jokes about. But we're gonna say all white people are cucks. Now, if one black guy does something profound or distinct that is kind of against what people, whatever people now think that's indicative of all black people. You know what I mean? It's like okay, oh, it becomes it become a stereotype faster. Yeah, yeah. Like, like no, it, like, that, like, that's like, correct. Like, uh, like, a like, good like, example it, of that is like Middle Easterners, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Back when the Oklahoma bomb or what bombing was it where the white guy drove his truck into the building yes. and he blew that shit Perfect. up? Perfect. Thank no you. No one, no one said all people are terrorists. But w once a Middle Easterner does some shit, all Middle Easterners are terrorists. So like th that's a good example to that. Yeah, and, and by the way, it's not only for African Americans and Black people. Like it goes on to like say like Mexicans. Like you know, you'll have certain an identity about all Mexicans that probably w was created by a few. Is it's not everyone and you almost start thinking about that entire lineage of people as this one thing that was created by some not all and they don't get to move uh, um move like you know independent thinkers it's like a monolith right while with white people would be like oh, okay well all right well you're into guns but this guy isn't Oof. into guns right this is gonna be a tough this guy's gonna be a really really tough take but um i hope i don't i don't i, hope I don't get canceled for that it seems like the difference is yeah, my boy just woke up. He's like on a shit. He's taking notes. He's ready to debate. Yeah, okay. I Bro. love it. <laughs> Bro, it seems like inherently the nature of this is uh, the motive, right? If your motive to do something is religious, right? And you're of that religion, people will be uh, combative and will paint you in a certain way, right? But if you do, if you do something of terror or something massive as a white dude because you're mad you got broken up with of course, it'll be portrayed differently. Do you agree with the inherent difference between the two of them or not? Sorry, if you sorry. commit an act of, of, of terror, <laughs> of, grand, of grand harm, in the name in, of religion, you are now doing, committing an act of terrorism. If you do it because you're upset, right? It has nothing to do with religion. Unfortunately, for uh, narratives, it's not terrorism. So it's irrelevant what a person looks like or their ethnicity because the motive isn't the same. Yeah, well, I mean, it bleeds into a lot of things. Like, for example, the media, right? Like, you know, um, if, for example, a, a guy goes crazy and he takes an AK-47, he walks into a school and he shoots a bunch of kids. And I'm saying this because I hope this never happens. And I hate to have to use the example, but we're just trying to have a conversation. And let's say, you know, within our community, we're, we're always like, we're always like, like, I hope this guy is in black, right? Because he's going to further a narrative that everyone's going to suffer from. If it's a white guy, no one's going to say all white guys are school shooters, right? If it's a guy who's of, you know, he's a rabbit or whatever, uh, they're going to be like, yo, that, that motherfucker's a terrorist, okay? Let, let's figure out who sent him. You get what I mean? I don't even agree with that, actually. Really? You don't? Not no, true. No, it's no, usually not true. about, it's, it's not I have to be honest with you, um, even though the public is brain dead, people catch on to a lot more onto uh, motives and narratives a lot more than just Im than just imagery. I'm not kidding. Um, if if somebody does something in the name of something or or religion, brother, it's it's very impactful. People catch on to that, right? But just somebody looking a certain way, I I haven't seen that be a a, a big thing. That maybe that's just my my analysis is just bad. Um, if it's usually the motive. You know what? Like you know what I'm talking about? Like a, a motive. If you go and shoot, you won't say, "Dude, that's because of um, this religion." Well, of course, people are gonna say, "Like, oh, dude, um, all people of that religion are that way," because the people are gonna be upset. And of course, 
But somebody does a tribute to Swizzy Bowl for like, oh, because I got bullied. It's a complete different ball game. Yo, it's a completely different yeah, ball yeah, game. yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. All right. d d to put it and crystallize it when it comes to like this is like, for example, and, and I'm being honest because I'm a black man. But when I get on a plane, and anybody who's ever watched Soul Plane, <laughs> when you get on a plane, and y'all are white, so y'all can't say it because y'all will call y'all be called extra racist. But with me, if I see a motherfucker with a turban, I'm looking at him a couple extra. I'm like, you good, bro? <laughs> oh, we straight. Oh, we good. Now, granted, that's that's because and, and y'all are hold on. You see, y'all are laughing. Y'all are laughing, and, and I'm not saying it on a hateful level. That's I'm, crazy. No, I know you're not. No, no, it's, it's not crazy. No, 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 it's not crazy. It's not crazy. I don't mean. I don't mean crazy. It's because we've been indoctrinated to think that certain things, like just like for example, if you heard certain crimes, <laughs> you would be like, "Oh, a bunch of dudes like just killed each other on some like gang banging, blah blah blah." blah. You're gonna be like, "Oh." They're probably like some black dudes. Like, bro, bro, yo, let me tell you this. One thing, you know, even though I don't support racism in any manner or prejudice at all, but right. I would never sit here and be stupid and act like us as humans because we we are living all like the same life or like these parallel lives. We do take information that we have and we make assumptions quickly. Right. right. And so some of these assumptions are, 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 are yeah, some, yeah, some of them are shaped by stereotypes, by certain things that we see in a society doesn't make yeah. you a bad person. Now, of course, if you're acting on them where you're like, hey, every black person, you know, what I mean, every person who has this on, I'm going to act a certain way. Yeah. There's motherfucker, that, there's a problem with you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So act, everything. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah. Good. Is this something that you do mentally? Or do you do you materialize these thoughts into action? Do you say, "Hey, yo, dude, let me check you for a bomb"? You don't do that, right? Like, no, it's, you do it's that in your head, bro. It's, bro, it's, it's, it's almost implicit. Like, like for example, I don't believe that the majority of police officers are bad, but do I believe if they pull over somebody and they walk up to the car, they see a dude with gold teeth, dreads, <laughs> and they smell a little bit weed, that they when when they go back to their car, they're thinking. This motherfucker probably got the shit on him and he got a gun. Bro, we have to be very honest. Like in life, we take Oh yes. Like, like yes. we move off patterns, we move off behaviors. Yes. Does Fair are some that. of those things prejudicial? Yes. So fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Just try not to it's materialize true. that into it's a way. True, okay, 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 listen. What I'm telling you is that <laughs> the way the way I think you navigate the world is by materializing those Agreed. things in a way that doesn't impact them or they see that and they feel discriminated, right? So you, we as humans were designed to judge. You was like, oh, I don't judge. If you don't judge, you're a fucking moron and you're designed to Fact. die, okay? You need to judge at every single time because that's how you survive as somebody. You go out in the real world. I see some people, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to go the, the left way. I'm not going to go to the store. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play my cards right. I survive, right? You have to judge. That's just how it is. Otherwise, you fucking die as a species, okay? It's so true. Then, so then, as long as you don't materialize that in a way that the other person sees it and you feel discriminated, you're all good. It's whenever you materialize that in a way that you vocalize that to the other person and they feel, they feel little or less for who they are, that's not fair for them. And that's how you should, you, that's where you should draw the line. I think you're both saying the same thing relatively, right? You're both just saying, mm -hmm. like, th these judgments exist, but you obviously never take action on the judgment, right? And that's what X means when he says materialize them. Obviously, ideally, we're trying to move away from that original judgment. Hopefully, we reach a time in the world where we can move away completely yeah. from those original judgments and the stereotypes. But I think you're both saying the same thing. And I think yeah, it's exactly. Right. What I want to yeah. add in, can I, let me yeah. add in this real go, quick. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Academics, yeah. it's like this, bro. Your, 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 your judgment for sure. Us human beings, we all judge. If I'm walking in Little Haiti, which is, you know, a, not a nice area in Florida, and I have five black guys with, you know, Florida dreadlocks, and they're walking Wicks. towards me. Nick, yeah. I, you know what they say, this is on my chat said, you know, if you're, if you're, if your head is nappy, you means your credit's crappy. That's what somebody in my chat said. No, that's yeah. racist. No, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm, 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 I'm saying to you, bro. Bro, you, bro, says to you. <laughs> no, how are you going to say that? You just said something around a turban. What is this? Look. Let me just, bro, bro. Listen, act. If there's four dudes walking for real, you know, they happen to be African-American and I'm walking to Little Haiti, 
my judgment might be to be afraid. But if there's four white dudes walk in in little Haiti, you know, my judgment would be chill. But which one is the one that's doing the crime? Choose which group. What is your thought to academics? The black group or the white group? Who's doing the crime? The ones who does the crime. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know. Answer, who's, hold on. Thank I, you. I Great don't answer. know who's doing the crime, but I'm going to go off what I've heard, either from the news, I've heard from other people, what I've seen. I'm going off personal experience. You get what I'm saying? Like, listen, we're going through life and we're learning. I always say this. Experience is the best teacher in life, and it only teaches you the lesson after you've taken a test. So, like, you going through this life, you're going to know in certain situations, and a lot of things are going to kick in. You're going to be like, well, in this neighborhood, I've seen on the news that these niggas do crime. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, <laughs> hey, if you clutch your purse or you whatever, whatever, like, I'm not going to be the person who'd be like, nah, yo, you're the racist guy because you're walking through O Block and then you're like, you're like clutching on to. No, them niggas is doing all type of crimes. That's what I heard. I do it too. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not the person that would say that. But, you know, that's one of those things where I'm like, yo, I think sometimes we are quick to label people as racist because they're in survival mode. Survival mode don't mean you're a racist. Racist to me means that. You genuinely don't like a specific group or people or creed of people or race of people. And you're taking steps to make sure you either avoid them, put them in in, in disparaging situation or, 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 or situations that wouldn't help them out. Or like you're doing things because you don't like that group. Now, you being fearful, I call that ignorant most of the time. So, um, you know what I mean? Because I guarantee you, if I walk through motherfucking like, I promise you. It, like, like, and again, I'm, I'm not saying these, um, these are not jokes and all like that, but if I walk through, and I'm going off what I learned from CNN and Fox News, if I walk through Iraq and I hear three beeps, nigga, I'm running. Feel what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, this about to be, yo, this is a suicide bomber somewhere. I'm like, like, I don't know what's going on in a bit. But that's what I've been indoctrinated because of the news. They, they've told me that people from this area, they might move like this. Again, I'm no, not keep, hateful. I don't think bombs do, to be honest. Yeah, look, that's caused from like no, a fear mongering, I'm, right? I'm, I'm, I'm no, no, at, at that point, that's caused by a fear mongering, right? Like, in, in yes. my opinion. A right, lot of this is fear mongering. Go ahead. Right, but that, that, that example you gave of, mm -hmm. or Aiden gave of an, in a neighborhood, right? So let's say, let's say a certain neighborhood had a high crime rate, right? And there was two groups. Like, I'm scared of every group, not because of the people, but because of the Area. statistic of the high crime rate. Correct. You understand? Like, sure, maybe in your life you've gone through something where, you know, certain people have been more aggressive in certain neighborhoods. Exactly. That's fine. That's for you. You know, obviously you, you should move that fear and not think irrationally and think, okay, you know what? This is just a neighborhood. There's a high crime rate. It could have been anyone of any color of skin doing this to me, right? Well, uh, you, for you, it happened to be one color of skin, but for anyone else, it could have been any color of skin. Guys, guys. It's a statistic of the whole neighborhood. Hold on, Aiden, right? So that has to be taken into account. It should be everyone you're afraid of in that neighborhood because that neighborhood has a statistically high crime rate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. But what I wanted yeah. to say really quick was this Kanye West thing, right? For example, Kanye West, the yeah. greatest artist, one of the greatest artists ever. Guys, when Ye was going on his little rants a couple years ago about Jewish people, it was just, and again, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm bringing it up to, for me. I, just try to understand what, actually, you don't have to write that down. Come on. But anyways, I'm, listen. I'm, I'm, writing it down. I'm writing down some notes, bro. Yo, my when, man when right Kanye now would, knows like he mired from Fresh and Fit, man. Well, look, when Kanye would say like Hitler was right and the Jews control everything and stuff, my thing is it's like, why would Kanye do that? Because he had hatred for a certain group of people who fucked him over in business. So obviously he's gonna look at one specific group of people, and 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 you know that's kind of where he stood at. So, but to say like all Jews are like, am I a bad Jew to you guys? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Right, I'm hey, hey, break. Yo, I'm yo, yo. Lift that, lift that. Take a bathroom break. Yo, 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 yo. It, it, it's so interesting because I don't view you as Jewish. Like it's. <laughs> No. But yeah, true. Because you you don't you don't you don't portray your things. You don't do anything as as Jewish. You just do it as you. Yo, so how do I know if that's an Aiden thing or a Jewish thing? It yo, yo. When I've watched Aiden, I, he, you kind of brought it to the forefront when like w when I realized you were you know naturally offended by certain things. I was like, oh, that is part of who he what is. What am I offended by? Um, like you know, what I mean, obviously anything that w if someone's anti-Semitic. But but like when when I see you, I don't look at you like 
um, Aiden's my Jewish friend. Like, I don't look at you like that. Do I, do I have what's called Jewish manipulation tactics? What's, what was that? What was that? Do I have tactics? Do I have stuff that people are like, oh, that's a Jew thing that Aiden does? And, no, and it, it is, no. please call me out. I'm not offended, bro. You know me, I got oh, fuck. Just be real. No, 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 no. No, hey, no you don't. Thank you. I'm gonna go pee. Okay. Um well what I wanted to bring up is that um it's like what Train said, right? If there's a high density of certain people in a certain industry or um, in a what or in a in a in a zone, right? You can't say you can't bring it to the to, to, and say, oh, this type of people does this and make a stereotype. It's like Aiden, it's like if they're if in the world of like I don't know, like music, a lot of the executives are Jewish, right? You can't say, oh my god, oh the Jews are doing this, this is unbelievable. Well, it's just because some things are happening and a lot of them are Jewish because of because of high density of, of Jewish people, right? So that's just how it's going. But it doesn't mean that that's how you can make a conclusion that this is how Jewish people are as a whole and, and make a narrative about that. You just can't do that. It's just weird. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? No, no, I, I, you, no, you make a hundred percent sense, and no, I agree. I agree. Um, well, it's it's like it's like if you have one hundred CEOs and ninety nine of them are white, right? And a lot of them are acting in manipulative ways. One hundred percent, they're all all of them are fucking manipulative. And you say, dude, fucking white people, dude, these fucking manipulator dumb fucks, absolute fuckheads. Well, dude. There's 99 out of 100 that are CEOs and they're all white and they're manipulative, right? It doesn't mean that it's it's white people being manipulative. It's just CEOs being manipulative. Does that make sense? So you can't really like make a narrative out of that. I think it's just short-sighted. Yeah. No, no. 100%. 100%. Uh, hey, when it comes to like, you know, um, man, I think the world we live in now people are just so indoctrinated and trained to kind of look at someone else and make them the enemy. Like, you know, just not understanding their background, right? It was like, you know, you always tell people, just because I've grown so much, and maybe if I, if I was asked this question, like, during that moment where I, I didn't fully get to understand and, and experience and whatever, I grew up in Jamaica, right? This is one of yeah. the countries that is, you know, historically so homophobic. And um, I always said that, like, I remember in college, I remember working with so many people who were from that community. It, it, it made me confront something within myself to be like, hey, listen, you're in the United States now. You're going to either be like this fearful, hateful person of this or you're, you're going to be able to, like, realize... First, first of all, everyone has different life choices. It's not that big of a deal. And, yo, I went through that. Choices? And, 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 and it, it was, like, amazing for me, right? It, it was, like, you know, it gave me a whole new perspective. But before, you know, I just didn't know. I just didn't know. And, and you know, I think we live in a world now where it's, like, you know, everyone's, you know, has to be, like, perfect. But, like, we're all growing and we're all learning. You know what I mean? Like, for example, even the point you made. All right, let's say Uzi is just this very interesting guy. Maybe he is straight, and and but he likes to do these other things. Why should he be judged? Like, why should people be like, you know, kind of hating on his lifestyle? And for That's me, I had to do. get to that point. That's what people do. It's a human behavior. People judge. That's what they do. Yeah, for, for me, I had to get to that point. Yeah. Um... It's, it's just well, tough because I feel like people hit harder on the gay stuff than anything else. That's my, that's my only point. That's my only concern. My only concern is that if you say, oh, dude, this is out, this is out, of, this is unhinged, out of control, do you act the same way when it's other <clears throat> topics or are you harder on the gay topic? And the conclusion that I have a lot of times, people are much harder on the gay and trans topic <clears throat> than they're about anything else. I think it's like, guys, chill the fuck out, man. People are doing some weird shit, right? <clears throat> this, time, this time it's the gay stuff. Why are you so mad about it, dude? Like, it just... Dude, maybe you're just you just don't like gay people and well, you're just homophobic. Well, no, I'm not homophobic, I'm not homophobic, but I have problems when it's like be, agendas being pushed on to like kids. That's where okay, I gotta get okay. pissed off. All right, that's the point. Go ahead, cook, 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 well, cook. You, 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 well, you, okay, go ahead, no. cook, cook. I'm gonna uncook you. 
Well, I'm just gonna say if you're allow if you're allowing like an 11 year old to inject themselves with hormones, you would not allow allow your 11 year old kid to get a tattoo. You know, I just don't I don't believe in 11 year olds and 12. I believe I believe you're gonna be if you're older. Let's just say if you were to be trans, do it when you're over 18. Why you gotta do it 12 years old? 13 true, years old. Aiden, but the, the 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 statistics behind what you're saying are just not uh, what you think they are. Mm. Like the 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 amount that this happens is so fucking little, right? That it's it's in it's insignificant. It's what like it's like you can count them on your hands across the board. Hold on, but no, wait, I know. Hey, hey, excuse me, I would counter that though by saying, so if it's so insignificant and it's so <coughs> little, why does it seem like there's so much, there's so much attention and so much like you know, um, care with that community when it's just like, for example, put it like this. Uh, think about anything in the world. If if, if <laughs> something was like. 0.5% or 1% of what was going on. There yeah. wouldn't be major statutes and 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 huge amount of donations made and the world would change just to appease a 1%. It would be like, "Hey, listen, we're going to try to do things to help that 1%, but it, it it's still a minority." I guess when it comes to trans individuals, it almost feels like it's the only minority that feels like a majority. And and, and this is where like African Americans come in because they're like, shit, yeah, we're a minority, but we never felt like a majority. We never felt like people had to. And and, and I mean, at times there, it, it was that, but it was like, we had to stop the world. We had to show the, the whole yeah. George Floyd or whatever the case is like, hey, listen, this is unacceptable. While when it comes to like trans individuals, it's like everyone's trying to figure at, out. At, how to at, let, me at, let me tell you why. At, I, tell you why. I just ex, I, I'm gonna let you go. But I, again, back on my thing, I just think like if you're a kid, bro, you you don't really remember. But as a kid, you have like a, your brain is like a sponge, right? So like I just think like if you're so much more normal, like or you're learning so much shit, but like. Disney, for example, is pushing like men's and skirts to be walking around and shit. Just let the kids be kids. Let them do what they want to do. And if they want to be 18 and do whatever they want to do when they're 18, that's fine. Like if they're like, <laughs> near, but, but if they're near like 17, they know what they want to do. Cool. But my thing is like, if you're a child, bro, like you shouldn't be like going to the doctors and getting like, even, even, even like a consideration, like you should be pushed like, oh, let's make you a, uh, okay. change genders. I don't know. It's yes. just what I see. People, the problem is that both sides, right and left are putting a megaphone on small stuff. And that's what the real where the real problem is. Okay? But it's a big, and but it's a big no, problem. It's it's okay. It, it's a it's a problem. And by doing what you're doing, you're making it a worse problem. And you're you're causing no healing. You're causing more damage. So that the, that the right wing right like right wing has been doing a lot. They take like out of like hundreds of thousands of trans people, right? One or two in the entire country had taken like uh, um, HRT or whatever, and they will take that one case, one that was like crazy and the person was like sort of like major depression because they, they weren't getting what they wanted and it'll and be and, and like a megaphone but put on it'll be like dude these people are fucking changing their fucking gender like at like eight and they're gonna fucking die like okay I'm saying that but I'm that's asking. one person you no. made it a problem it no. wasn't a problem then you made it a problem no no it's a, a megaphone on it it's a problem now because it's giving kids ideas of like false shit. Like bathroom you see now, hold on. Act. It's, you see Disney, for example. When did we start watching <laughs> Disney? Three, four, etc. Right? Disney, for example, push, 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 and act. I mean, and, and you know, my thing is X. Like back when I was in school, you know, back when I was in middle school, high school, I would have like transgenders in my class. So that's how you know. And I asked my parents, like, "Yo, mom, pop." You know what I'm saying? Like, do you see? Did you see this in your class? Like, nah. And even my 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 other older siblings, it's the same shit. So it's like it's becoming more and more normalized to do it as a child rather than waiting till adultery. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's waiting till you don't wait for things that you feel like you don't feel. But who? But if I believe in the tooth fairy and superheroes, why would I be allowed to believe something? It's like I have an imaginary mind. It's like wait a little bit. And instead, maybe of just going straight to jump to that, maybe we do some therapy. Maybe we okay. try to sit down and so just. So you're telling me that you believe in Santa all the way till you're probably like 14, but people no. are wrong for thinking that. Even, oh, maybe I'm know, a girl instead. I went when I was 14 too. When I was when I was 14, I was still fucking thinking of crazy shit. I was still like abnormal stuff. I think when you become an adult, bro, that's when you know the most. It just hits you, bro. Like when you're adult, even even close to adult, like even like 17, 16, maybe like it's different for everybody. But bro, like. It's just it, yes, but you're not making permanent decisions on the, what you're feeling when you're young. They don't let you do that for most of, for like nine nine point nine 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 percent of the time. You're not gonna fuck your life up because you feel those ways or you think those ways. 
they only let you when you're 18. That's not true. Look okay. at uh, and I'm gonna bring it up. Dwayne Wade's child, for example. Uh, I think she's 12 or whatever. And again, that's his own kid. I'm not gonna get. In, I'm just giving you an example of something that's kind of like known out there. There's also many I could pull examples of if I if I want to do my research. My thing is this, bro. It's like, wait, just wait. And and if you still feel that way all the way to 18, okay, be yourself. Do you? And was that person? Was that person? Was that? Uh, D D D Dwayne Wade's kid. Dwayne Wade. Correct. So why not with them? No, no, I'm sure I could find more. I think, I think, uh, yeah, Will Smith. Why, 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 why with them? Like, like, what is the story? You're just saying names. I don't know what happened with them. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an example of, yeah, of what happened with them, though. I'm saying they became trans at a very young age. They became trans? Did they take HRTs or whatever? I'm not, I, I'm not that, I don't know, but, uh, they became. If they're not on HRTs, they can say that they're fucking, that they're Iron Man or Optimus Prime My and thing. nobody gives a fuck. No, 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 but just look into it. I, I'm Wait, informed. It. I well, did. I'm, Chat says I'm, that they haven't taken HRD, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'm, misinformed. I'm, I'm misinformed on that specific individual, so I'm not okay. going to speak on so, it. So, I, so I, asked you to give an example. I asked you to give me an example. You gave me a wrong one. So you're one of one in the wrong. No, one it's still one. wrong. Brother, when what? you are... It's still... I, I, I didn't say specifically HRT for that specific one. I never said that. Be, I, I didn't know. I said, I don't know. I'm misinformed on it. All I'm saying is... All, all I'm saying is that person is a child, and I just think that they should wait years and years and years before they really jump down a road they don't they don't know they're going brother, into. Brother, when I when I was young, I thought I could have multiple girlfriends, and for years I had two girlfriends at a time, sometimes three, right? And mm -hmm. and is that is that a good thing? Well, no, it's not. Um, most people are are, are are monogamous, right? And I understood with life that hey, that's not how you really supposed to do things, right? And then after after when I grew up. I, just, I stopped doing that. Well, I mean, not really, but I, I stopped doing that. But know? that's not the same thing as what I'm saying. You're not causing permanent damage on yourself, though. Unless you're on like <laughs> HRTs and you're fucking your body up and making modifications, you will recover from your thoughts. When I was a kid, I thought I was a doctor. I thought I was a superhero, right? I wore a cape sometimes at school. I wore a cape. Does that mean that when I'm 18, I become, I become brain dead? No, it doesn't do anything. Let, mm. them, let people be people. But but that's what I'm saying, though. Then let them think that they're a girl or whatever for two or three years until they, no, uh, you no, know what? No, Maybe no, I was no. just feeling a certain way and, and then they passed it. I until just think they it's, cut their penis hold on, off, huh? Act, 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 hold on. I just think it's abnormally getting a little bit weird when we're pushing on our kids, bro. That's all I'm we're saying. Not, nobody's pushing on them, though. It is. There's there's agendas being pushed on kids, like like what I'm saying, for sure. 100%. Disney's no, 100% doing the it. The agenda tells them that if, they're, if, they'll feel, if they feel those ways, they're not completely getting, wrong or to be ostracized, and they're not going to fucking kill themselves. It's not like, yes, okay. it's a little bit over, overbearing. It? And okay. I get that. Ask it's a question. little bit too much. Ask but it's the, me the mentality what about, what about, isn't wrong. What about when a Target's kids section had like an LGBTQ plus uh, thing, like for the kids section? Uh, you know, when you're a kid, then don't right? shop there if you don't want to shop there. If you don't feel LGBTQ, hey, you don't go hey, there. Like. X, you see, Target is an American thing, bro. We all shop at Target. Stop. Yo, X, yo, X, stop the cat, bro. Like, yo, Come on, yo, yo. Bro. Like, bro. Yo, X, Come X, on, bro. X, 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 X. I won't be honest with you. Man, I don't care if niggas want to think they're airplane. They want to think they they man, woman, kangaroo. Do your thing. I just, right. I definitely believe that we gotta let yo kids can choose to go in the military, can drink, can do a lot of things until they at least turn eighteen or maybe twenty one. Man, okay. don't don't just seep seep it into shit. Like you know what I mean. Don't just start putting into the curriculum to you know influence them to go away because <clears throat> bro, I'm gonna be honest with you as a kid everybody's insecure everybody's looking for acceptance everybody just don't yeah, really know what's going on and okay. if, if, if they if don't you push... permit you to do the things you're talking about though like you're not causing permanent damage to somebody they're not on hrts brother they're not fuck they're not doing bodily modifications that they're not allowed to do these things if it's not true if it's just, if it's just a fad or a phase it'll fade away dude no, it no. is what it XQC, is. You're when incorrect. I was young, you're, I was you're, wearing fucking XQC. pink fucking wristbands X, all no, the time. XQC, XQC. And I had girls do me little bracelets. Yo, XQC. You know, me too. I stopped Yo, brother, doing brother, that. Brother. You're I incorrect way. because, because where they're trying to push it is to have kids be on some of these hormones early. Give me examples. Like, give me statistics. 
I just, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Give I got me statistics That's fine. and give me no, no, examples. No, 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 no. Yo, excuse me. It's not about statistics. It's about trying to stop or reverse, like, you know, um, a trend that we're seeing happen. They want these kids to try to, you know, make these decisions before, you know, um, they're really uh, of age. Wait, bro, what trend, what statistics, what exam? I'm not seeing what you're seeing. I think you're talking about the, like one person who did something and then the whole right wing went to, this is killing our kids. This is, it's like one guy out of the middle of fucking, uh, in, like in like West Scots or some shit like that. It was on drugs or some shit like that. Chill, chill. Nobody's killing anybody. Dude, like this isn't, a, it's not a problem. It is because you're making it a problem. Okay. My thing is when you, when you said to, don't shop there, when I said Target where everyone goes, you know, when you're a parent, you want to be able to sit down your child when it's time and explain what certain things are. I just think it's wrong. No, for real. I think it's wrong when school teaches you about politics and uh, 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 sexuality shit. I think it's really wrong. I think your parent, when you're a parent, that's when you sit your child down and that's when you really explain yeah. about life. Do you yes, agree with Aiden. that? Yes, Aiden. Okay. But society so, always does like, that because it's ingrained into the, into the more traditional way. So, society so, already that's, shows that's, you that and that's, those things in the more heterosexual way because you are that you're not you're not seeing it and you don't we don't you don't identify that but because there's a few examples of non-hetero things oh my god they're putting you say 20 movies about girls and guys oh whatever yeah you're in the same one guy kiss another guy oh my god the agenda gays relax brother well Rel it's not that big of a fucking deal christ that's insane you're making it a problem like they're not pushing an agenda like Jesus Christ, dude. So you don't think putting gay kid LGBT view in the kids section of Target? You could put in the regular section of Target. Cool, that's fine. The the you know the adult clothing. You don't think putting it in the kids section of Target's a little bit twisted? Yes, the way that they're doing it isn't always right. That's and it. they're fucking stupid. But thank you. The, the 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 behavior inherently isn't bad. Having a fucking pink shirt in the men's section isn't the agenda of that's Joe not, Biden controlling your brain. It's that's not, not the, that's not what the I'm way saying. Doing oh, it I used isn't to wear, right, but the message wear, is correct. No, X, I used to wear the I love boobies bracelets too, the pink ones and you know the breast cancer awareness, but I used to wear it all the time. Okay, Matter but fact, there was I was dicks, you would fucking be up in arms about it. Hmm? You're wearing I love boobies shit, but if it was I love dicks, you would be all up in arms about it. And you would say, kids should be wearing that. How can you even buy this? This isn't correct. Then you know you'd be doing this. Um, well, no shit, you know. Oh, it's oh my fuck. Yo, 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 <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Yo. Like, of course, it's way different. Yo, it, it's not, it's not just as simple as, oh, they're putting a pink thing in, like, the men's section. Is that they're encouraging men, right, who are biologically men, who are, who are born with penises and have the hormones of men, to basically sex, say, gender, depending, depending on your socialization or how you feel at the moment, you could now select your gender after birth. That's what people talk about. We don't care about pink and that, blue. That's nigga. a gender, not a sex. Say again? That, that, a gender. You're talking about, you're talking about the, 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 the fucking, the biological, like you're born with a dick, right? And then, and then, and then you want to be a girl or whatever? Like, what are you talking about? Am I wrong? Bruh. A gender is like a social construct. All right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on two different... Hey, listen. Let me tell you this. If if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. No, you're a fucking man. Okay? <laughs> Yo, if God made you with a dick and a balls, you're a man. I don't care. I don't care if what you think about <laughs> yourself. You need to go deal with that. Go. To, you need to go to... Christ or anybody else, Allah, anybody. If you got dick and balls, you are a man. There ain't no social construct. Biology tells me what you are. You got a pussy, you a woman. You got a dick, you're a man. Again, we could make up these other rules, but that is the ground rules, brother. Like this whole, oh, no, it's a <coughs> construct. It's like, dog, all right, I'm a penguin. Am I, am I a penguin? I'm a penguin. No, no, no. What, what, what X is saying is, so sex is male or female right so so you're correct ak and aiden there's male and there's female yes there is that's there's two sex, genders okay yes. that's the biological attribute right correct so male and female that's sex yes gender gender see like
the, the, there is a um, miscommunication and misunderstanding of gender versus sex. Sex is female or male. You understand? So when you guys say yeah, there's two, of course there's I understand. Two, when you guys say there's two genders, you're referring to those two sexes, right? Gender is actually a social construct, right? There you go. So it's why, why that that I'm wrong that is like behaviors and certain things of certain different, right? Like, so when you say, Wait is there two genders? What you mean are there two sexes? Yes, there's two sexes. There's male and there's female. Guys, you understand? Guys. So like, you're both arguing two different things. That's hey, academics. No, 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 we don't call it a sex reveal party. You call it a gender yo, reveal yo, party. Yo, 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 train wreck, yo, even train wreck, train wreck know he capping because put it like this. If you meet some of these grown ass niggas who think they females, if you ask them what sex they are, they're not going to say they're actually male. They're going to say they're a female. They want to okay. identify. Listen, gender and sex acts, are the, interchangeable no, to forms, them. On all the government forms you filled out, does it not say sex? Brother, we're not talking that. about government they forms, do. though. Yo, respectfully, we're not talking about government forms. Yo, we're talking about, like, I completely get your argument and you're right, right. but the people we're talking about, they want to be able to pick not only gender, but sex. They're picking sex. them interchangeably. Nah, that's not, that's what? Seem right. Yo, have you met someone that is, a le like, I got to be clear because I know I'm still on Twitch. Uh, trans, and if you, you, do you think they identify like, oh, I'm actually a male, sex-wise, but I consider myself as a woman. They don't. They call themselves a woman and a female. That's a fact. Why, why are y'all acting like yes. they still consider uh, themselves a male? No, they, they don't. Still, they still mean the gender, though. Like, and if they don't, they're wrong. But that doesn't. That doesn't. Why do you feel so so uh, enraged and and compelled to to write them? That's the government's fucking. No, thing no, to do no, no, that. no, no, If they no, 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 if they I don't feel on, on a government form, they're now wrong. That's fucking hold illegal. On, yeah, I don't feel compelled to go. They themselves. That's actually wrong. Why do you feel like you go? No. You are this. You no, are that. No, no. Excuse yo, 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 me. I don't feel compelled out, to correct out. them. I don't feel compelled to correct them. I'm just showing the fallacy in what you just tried to explain. Not when you don't know, well, maybe not you, but Trainwreck said, "Well, you know what? You guys are right. Sex. There's only two sexes, but you could have multiple genders because that's a social construct. I'm telling you that usually, if someone, and by the way, I'm not even passionate about this. Truth be told, right." But, but right, like, right, right, it, but right. usually if someone, say someone was born, right, a female, they was born with a pussy, right? If they want to now identify as a man, they're not going to then tell people, I am a female by sex, but I am a man by gender. No, because they because usually say a I'm way, a woman being, and a female. They're using a social right. construct to fucking communicate. They're using yep. a social construct to communicate, not some biological fucking markers. Holy shit. How hard is it to understand it? Hold on, no, no. Listen, what the yo, fuck? Yo, Listen, excuse I, me, I'm going by your own metrics, though. Your own metrics said that one of them was biological, right? And then the other, so one is biological, and then the other is is actually social construct, right? So you said male or female biological, right? Yes, then you yes. said a um, uh, 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 man or woman or whatever is more of a social construct. And, um, I'm telling you that those people that who identify as such, they don't make that distinction. They're not going to be like, I'm a male that, w that identifies as a woman. They usually say, I am a female. Wait, so I have a question for yeah, X. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's insane that you guys are so mad about about some some bro. girl or some guy saying it. Some guy I, saying it. Oh, I'm a girl. Care. Then fucking Connie saying I'm a god. It's like <coughs> you guys are so. No, I don't care about that. Your outrage. It's fucking insane. I only care about You're kids, nuts. bro. Leave the kids. Uh, he left. I only care about leaving the kids out of it, bro. I just got mad about the Target shit, and I get mad about you know TR like having puberty blockers for kids. That's all. That's all I get mad about. That doesn't happen though. It's yeah, it's like X, it does. It, it does. Some parents allow I, it. I I'm said it. You. I said it. Give me statistics. I huh?